Yo, 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 what's up guys? How are you all doing? Not game. Full cam, baby. Let's go. How are you doing, chat? Berki, David, yo, what's up? Finally stream, yes sir? After a long time. I wanted my stream back to be special, so here we are with strongest man in Slovenia officially. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Olympia in Slovenia. <laughs> That's how we roll. Let's go, chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, smash the like button. Smash the subscribe if you're new. And yeah, and I hope you enjoyed like this podcast. Yup. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna uh, let Leo introduce himself in few sentences. Uh, so tell us who you are and what you do with your life, basically. Yeah, so my name is uh, Leo Maikokol. Um, I am a, uh, for now, re a recreational bodybuilder, but I'm trying to be a professional one. So uh, basically what I do in life right now is I just eat, train, sleep, and repeat. Like this, this is my routine. <laughs> Every day, bro. Yeah, however, for like, uh, since I was born, I was like uh, doing sports. So when I was three, I started with gymnastics. I trained for four years. Um, then when I finished gymnastics, I started training football. And then I trained football for like eight years. Um, That's a long time. Yeah, for like eight years. And then when I was 15, I uh, started uh, doing track and field, which is okay. uh, with basically running. Yeah. Um, and I thought I found my passion, but uh, I really didn't. Yeah, in running, because okay. running for me is like really, it's uh, it's a really nice sport, and you really uh, like um, you're really calm when you do it, mm -hmm. uh, especially me. It's a kind of therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's kind of a therapy. Yes, yeah. it's also really hard, but for me it was uh, a bit easier because I'm uh, very explosive. So uh, I was running like sixty meters and one hundred meters. Okay. So for me it was a bit easier because it's. Uh, if you want to be a sprinter, then you need uh, like a lot of explosivity. You need like mm -hmm. a lot of power, and uh, my genetic predispositions, uh, you know, enabled me to have a lot of power okay. and a lot of uh, explosivity. So these are your strong points. Yeah, yeah, explosivity so and power. You yeah, were good yeah, in of course. Short. Uh, yeah, especially in, uh, in my lower body. 
Okay. In my okay. upper body, maybe I'm not so. I mean, I'm definitely not as powerful as uh, in my uh, like lower half of my okay. body. Okay. So legs are your big yeah plus. yeah legs are my big plus yeah okay. of course. So uh, basically, after uh, one year of track and field, I started doing um, I started doing uh, like uh, some trainings in uh, calisthenics because okay. uh, we were in quarantine and uh, the gyms were closed. Yeah. So I kind of wanted to start uh, to do something for my uh, physique and for myself. So I started uh, training uh, basically calisthenics, uh, sets and reps. If we're uh, if we're really uh, specific. Oh, what that means? Oh, so reps and reps, uh, reps and sets basically means that uh, you're not uh, training, uh, you're not training uh, for like tricks. So basically, if you know, like for like for example, back lever, front lever, okay, uh, those kind of kind of tricks. These are, are the the flex moves. Yeah, these dynamics. are the flex moves basically. But uh, you're not into that. Yeah, these flex moves require you to be like uh, kind of smaller and not as heavy. Mm -hmm. And back then I was, you know, 180 centimeters and about 85 uh, kilograms, which is which okay. is not really light. I mean, it's yeah. not heavy, but it's not light. But I just wasn't built for that uh, kind of uh, um, in kind of uh, a technique that requires endurance. Okay. I was built for like sets and reps, which means. That you do pull-ups with added weight okay. or uh, push-ups with added weight okay. that was better than so, that. So yeah. heavy shit, basically. Yeah, yeah. And I know I did some calisthenics too, and I know if you have like big legs, yeah, it's, it's hard. very hard. It's really hard. Like it's, really hard. <laughs> it's ten times harder than the people that like have skinny legs. Yeah. Like. Also because I train do athletics, I mean track, track and field. I also you had stronger I, I legs. Was, yeah, I had stronger legs, and yeah. also from the football, it's, yeah, it was really hard. But like for the pull-ups and. Like chin ups and everything is is good. It's free weight. Yeah, yeah. You it, don't need so much weight around yeah. your belt because you're it's heavy. Hard. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, but uh, I just couldn't do those tricks because I was too heavy. So yeah. basically, a year passed and the gyms uh, started opening, and then I uh, kind of started, you know, to train in the gym. Okay. And uh, you switched totally from yeah, the, I totally switched yeah. Yeah, to the yeah. gym. Yeah, because okay. I started watching some. Uh, I started watching, of course, David Lade and uh, Jeff mm -hmm. Side. Uh, and they were like kind of my idols, and I know, I know, I knew that I couldn't achieve uh, their physique uh, without, without training in the gym. Mm -hmm. So basically, when I uh, started training in the gym, I just had a shit ton of motivation and just everything. I was just like so hyped. Oh my god, I'm in the gym! <laughs> so I started training like really hardcore, but I didn't have a lot of knowledge when it comes to like food and rest and everything and technique. Okay. So um, I had to kind of learn kind of fast, um, and I did learn fast because I'm for like. If but talking, you were interested in it. Yeah, yeah, of course. You were googling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was basically yeah. like every night or every um, every time when I came home from the gym, uh, I ate like kind of a basic, you know, rice and uh, chicken <laughs> meal. And uh, when I was eating it, or when I uh, and also when I finished eating it, um, I was basically watching YouTube videos and YouTubers and how to train, how to do I don't know, uh, how to uh, perfect your form on i don't know incline smith machine or like squats or everything squats mm -hmm. were my favorite and st still are my favorite exercise so these are like these are kind of th these were my beginnings but uh, these idols stay the same till this day or nah, they can nah, 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 cuz i kind of overgrown david late so cuz yeah. I'm, I'm bigger than david late right now okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm bigger than david i'm bigger than jeff side so really? yeah, yeah of course bigger but not as like well heavier and bigger Okay, but they are, they look more um, shredded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're see David this is their goal. Yeah, David and Jeff Side. I think Jeff Side has really good genetics, but uh, his problem is that uh, he. I think he just doesn't eat enough. Like, that's uh -huh. his problem. Yeah, David Laid he has move. good genetics, but uh, only for like recreational bodybuilding. He would never been a successful bodybuilder. He okay. couldn't be a successful bodybuilder. Okay, it's okay. no way for him. Because uh, he just doesn't have the genetics. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the power. He doesn't have the genetics. Um, so if you don't have the genetics in the bodybuilding world, it's useless to it's even impossible. try. Yeah, it's uh, impossible. You you cannot you cannot be you can look good you can look good like in swimsuits or like mm -hmm. when you go to the beach, but you can never be a professional bodybuilder. There's no way to compete with the top. Nah, genetics there's no way. There's no way because no if way. somebody if somebody has genetics, dedication, hard work, eats every single meal, uh, doesn't party, goes to sleep early, you know, does everything right, you. If you don't have genetics, if you do everything, uh, so for example, you have one guy and uh, you say, okay, well, you have person A and person mm -hmm. B, and the A person doesn't have the best genetics, but does everything perfectly, while person B has good genetics, eats good, 
but also parties, you know, and mm-hmm. drinks alcohol and does everything. The B person is going to look better than A. Still. Still, it's going to look... Just, genetics are so just much. because of the genetics. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But there are people who have great genetics and ha- have great d- discipline, so food, sleep, and everything. They yeah, don't party. Yeah. And so those are the people these are who... The yeah, top, yeah, yeah. These top are the much. top uh, athletes, but it doesn't mean the that they're going to succeed. Yeah. Which, which one is the daddy? Sibam. 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 <laughs> Chris yeah. Said, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but I think... Uh, <laughs> I think the like my motivation was when I started seeing progress when I started gaining weight because I was always like a skinny dude. I was always when I was playing football I was like sixty two kg. Uh, That's then, pretty light. Yeah, that, that was really light. Then I uh, started doing calisthenics. I was about seventy two, something like that. And then I started eating more, and I was uh, in the gym, and I went from I don't know like seventy something to I don't know eighty seven in a couple of months. And I was gym. Yeah, yeah, just with, yeah, with the gym, with uh, basically training uh, as a bodybuilder because okay. it's very, very much different. Um, so uh, when you start training smart and when you add like a lot of um, the things that are important in bodybuilding, you just start seeing progress really, really quickly because yeah. newbie gains, right? If you start, for example, um, if you start doing track and field, uh, you're gonna see big progress in I don't know, like six months. You're gonna see I don't know. For example, if you run. Uh, on 60 meters, and your time is, I don't know, for example, nine seconds. In uh, in a time period of six months, you're going to see a decrease in your time from, I don't know, nine to probably eight point, I don't know, two or three. This is, uh, like, in track and field, this is really uh, a really big difference. And in every sport, it's pretty much similar, because when you start, uh, your progress is, like, really fast. Yeah, but, uh, and then it eventually, slows down. Yeah, eventually it slows down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's also the same in bodybuilding. And I actually thought I hit like a plateau and that I couldn't uh, be gym. bigger. Yeah, in gym. I actually thought I hit it when I was like 92 kg. And I thought, nah, there's no way. I'm never going to get bigger. <laughs> yeah. And then I uh, hired my coach. So I actually <laughs> knew a guy, Giga Kirmish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, he's from Aribor. And uh, he was my friend. Uh, you know, we see, we've seen each other in the gym. You know, he spots me. I spot him. And you know, we were friends, okay. you know. And uh, I saw, I really liked his uh, way of training and uh, how he you know how he treated me and everything so uh, i basically asked him uh, if he does uh, online coaching mm-hmm. or uh, basically um so he was he, that good that you were interested in his uh, knowledge being shared with you i mean i just, guiding you yeah he was uh, he, he's a, he's a really smart guy he okay. if you talk to him you realize that he really knows basically everything about i don't know for example steroids bodybuilding uh, cutting bulking just everything food everything he's a really okay knowledgeable guy okay. so uh you know even just talking with him i saw oh my god this guy's like way smarter than me this guy could you know potentially be someone that i could learn a lot of things from so um when we started uh training together he showed me like a lot of new things and he put me on like a hardcore bulking diet so we were eating at first four thousand six hundred calories and that was at first 4,600. 600, okay. Uh, so that was quite a lot for me. Mm-hmm. And I started a getting big change from Yeah, a big change. Yeah, I started calories. getting. It was the first time in my life where I had to eat every single meal every day at, like, at, at the same without time. Without uh, exceptions. Yeah, without yeah. exceptions. Maybe, maybe I had some cheat meals, you know. But uh, I basically had to eat the same meals every day uh, for like, I don't know, three months. And I gained like five kilograms. Okay. And I was like, whoa, maybe I didn't hit a plateau. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, then we increased the calories and increased and increased. And we got to 5,400. So this is like, this is a shit ton of food. It's, it's like, so hard to eat 5,000. If, if I try to, if a normal person tries to eat that many calories in a day, which they probably eat half of it normally. This is a challenge for one day. Yeah, but it's it, it's also a difference if you eat clean calories or if you yeah. eat uh, like uh, shit food. Because you can eat like a bag of chips and it has like uh, 800 calories. Or you can eat yeah. 200 grams of rice and 200 grams of, for example, chicken. And it also has uh, 800 calories, but it's a lot more volume. It's a lot more food. So that okay. that's the secret of cutting and, you know, bulking. Because people say... Oh, cutting is so hard. Cutting is so hard. I cannot cut. I need to eat food. Yeah, uh, you're eating the wrong foods. If you eat foods that have um, a lot of calories in them, take notes. By yeah. the way, take if you're, uh, um, if you are, um, so for example, if you eat calories that are dense in, uh, sorry, if you eat foods that are dense in calories, 
you're gonna eat like i don't know two meals and you're gonna hit i don't know 2500 calories if you eat for example uh for breakfast you eat i don't know egg whites and eggs and maybe one uh, piece of toast it's gonna fill you up but it doesn't have a lot of calories mm -hmm. it has a lot of protein okay uh then in between you eat i don't know some uh like uh, fruits for example i don't know Maybe not really banana because banana has, you know, uh, compared to other fruits, it has more calories. You maybe eat some strawberries, blueberries, I don't know, an apple, maybe something like that. And it's going to really fill you up because it has a lot of fiber, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have a lot of calories. Okay. So, for example, if you eat a bag of chips, it's not really going to fill you up. It has 800 calories. If you eat a big bowl of fruit, it maybe has, I don't know, 100 calories and it's going to fill you up like you're, you're going to feel like you ate a very big steak. Okay. Example, right? So this is the secret of kind of but bodybuilding, right? For you, it's really important to eat basically clean calories. You don't want like this yeah, dirty it's, calories. It's debatable. If, so some people argue calories are calories. But I think if you eat clean calories, you're going to build more quality muscle on you. Okay. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in uh, this. So if you eat, I don't know, for example, it's a big difference if you eat, I don't know, 5,000 calories of McDonald's, for example, mm -hmm. or pizzas, or if you eat 5,000 calories of rice, chicken, egg whites, eggs, I don't know, maybe some, uh, maybe you switch up the meat, but it's, you know, it's just the basic foods, you know, and if you mm -hmm. eat the basics, if you eat the basics, I think you should be able to build a lot of quality muscle. Okay, so so the quality is uh, yeah, we are yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about. We're, 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 okay. In bodybuilding, it's always quality over quantity. Okay, that means quality means stronger muscles or... Uh, Better looking muscles. In bodybuilding, it's better looking muscles. Okay, in bodybuilding, so yeah, in bodybuilding, I don't care if I do, I don't know. For example, um, let me give an example. National powerlifting record in, in uh, Slovenia for category under 93 kilograms in squat mm -hmm. is uh, 210 kgs. When I was, I, I think I was weighing around 94, which is one kilogram more. Mm -hmm. I squatted 240 kilograms, right? Okay. So that's 30 kilograms more than the national record. And I'm, I never trained for powerlifting, right? So this is an example. So I was already a bodybuilder and I was strong. But that doesn't mean I need to train heavy to get off. Sorry, I have to train heavy, but I don't need to train one rep maxes. Okay. So you have to do at least, I don't know, six. Uh, six is the minimum reps that I do. On my trainings, minimum. I never go low. To build muscle, muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To build muscle. Yeah, yeah. Because if you if you do like three reps for I don't know five sets, you're training for strength, right? You're not gonna be you're you're not gonna have huge legs. Yeah. Of course, you're gonna have big, but you're not gonna have huge legs. Mm -hmm. Training for bodybuilding is uh, you 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 just need to go heavy. This is a fact. You need to go heavy, but uh, with the heavy weight, you must do at least six reps. Right. So six, eight. 10 12 15 maybe on some uh, um on some uh, specific exercises okay. for example i don't know cable flies you're gonna do 15 20 reps okay. if you do incline uh, dumbbell incline dumbbell press you're probably aiming for eight to ten or maybe six for reps. better pump yeah probably. yeah just for better pump yeah okay. it, it also you know you have to this is also like a really big debate so so some people argue failure is failure so if you fail at 15 reps or if you fail at five reps some people argue it's the same thing but for me, uh, if I do five reps and my failure is at five reps, I'm going to use a lot of triceps and a lot of uh, shoulders if, if we're talking about chest, right? So if you do incline uh, dumbbells, mm -hmm. you're going to use a lot of triceps and uh, a lot of shoulders if you, do, if you go really heavy. But if you really control the weight and if you really go like slower and you go uh, lower with weight, for, for example, I do 50 kg dumbbells for like 10 reps on the incline. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, that's a good weight, but I could go lower. I could go like 40 kg and slow it down even more and just go really, really, really slow and control the weight and just feel my muscles stretching and so then squeezing. My muscle my connection, muscle connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my muscle connection okay. is like really, really important. Yeah. So if I really just slow it down and just start squeezing and stretching. So for example, first you stretch, then you squeeze. If you do this, and if you do 12 reps to failure, there is no way you're not going to build muscle. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's, there's no way. But if you do, like, stupid, if you do, like, really explosive, and, like, then you're going to use a lot of triceps and a lot of uh, shoulders. For example, yeah. that's why bench press is really a bad um, exercise for, uh, for mass. If you're training for mass, if you're training Which for... Which exercise bench? Bench press, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bench press is, like, it's the worst exercise for chest, if you ask me. It's really the worst. Okay, maybe not the worst, but 
Uh, it's really good for building strength. Mm -hmm. It's fun to do it, but it's the worst exercise. Okay. Because it's just... It's so for muscle de development, it's not the best. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, in bodybuilding, we have compound movements and we have, like, specific... Uh, uh, okay, so le let's uh, describe it like compound and non-compound movements. So, mm -hmm. compound movements are, uh, like, um, for example, bench, deadlift, uh, squat, maybe more, like, maybe some machines, you know, maybe, like... Uh, so, where you use... A lot of muscle groups. In yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, basically, not, for legs is different because for like, for example, uh, compound movement bench press is one of the worst movements for chest. While squat, which is also a compound movement, is the best movement for legs you can do. Okay. So squat is the best, but bench press is the worst because squat you only use your quadriceps, maybe or like maybe a bit of your hamstring and your glutes. But uh, if you're, for example, like me, if you're quad dominant, you use quads, mainly main, main quads. While bench press, um, you cannot be you cannot be chest dominant. You know, you also have your triceps and your shoulders, so you use all of the three muscles, right? So you cannot focus only mm -hmm. in every. So in this aspect, if you use the machines, yeah, which are guided. Uh, movements you use less triceps and shoulders it's so not, it's better yeah, if you yeah. want to concentrate on yeah you will you, you will never use only your chest or only yeah, yeah. Um, Makes sense, but you can use only your legs or only your biceps for example you cannot use only your chest right mm -hmm. but you can use less of the triceps and the shoulders so you're you're basically what you're trying to do if you're trying to build shoulders you're trying to push as much weight with your shoulders and as less weight as you can with your triceps and chest for chest, you know, it's, it's the same. yeah, it's the same. Same thing. Uh, every single muscle is the same thing. You just need okay. to focus it. You know, you just need to focus it. Okay. I have one more question for for the uh, reps. Mm -hmm. So, do you use like if you do if you have a program that you use uh, I don't know four sets for each exercise and six reps? Uh, Four sets, okay. Can you okay? Um, okay. Yeah, four sets, six reps. Yeah, okay. Per exercise. Yeah. Uh, instead of I don't know, uh, four sets of I don't know twenty reps. Mm -hmm. Maybe the which one is better? And do you use I don't know the six reps? Mo maybe it has more is more time efficient. Yeah. Or you use uh, more reps okay, to I see build what you're uh, oh, okay, okay, better I looking I muscles. See, okay, okay, I see, I see. So basically, um. You never do four working sets. It's stupid to do, and you really cannot do it. Because if you do, for example, um, if you're doing a leg day, right? If it's a leg training, and I'm doing squats, I'm never going to do four working sets. I'm never going to go four times to failure. Okay. I'm going to do two sets, and those two sets are going to be basically until I paint, and I'm going to leave my soul over there, but I'm, gonna, but I'm only going to do two sets. Because the third set, there is no way I'm going to be 100%. There is no way. Because... In the first set, for example, in squats, I do six to eight, and it's called a loading set, right? The second working set, so you have more working sets. You say, okay. So there is a, a warm-up sets and working sets. And working sets can be loading, they can be back-off, they can be rest pause sets, you know, you have a lot okay. of okay. types of sets. Okay. For example, loading set is always the heaviest set, right? So you do, for example, in squats, I do like three or four uh, warm-up sets, which basically I just warm up my quadriceps, my... Uh, knees my you know hamstrings my glutes everything you know and then when i come to a working set uh i do a loading set which means it's really heavy weight and it's six to eight reps okay and then back off set is basically a little bit less weight but also until failure and like really high uh, um really high intensity but maybe a bit more reps so okay. for example um back off set is i don't know eight to 12 reps for example it's okay. it's all uh you know it's all it depends on uh, so you basically basically combine different uh number of reps yeah, yeah of course of course your, yeah i never do like four times 20 or something i, I think it's okay. stupid because okay okay um i think if you switch it up a little bit you know if you do the heavy set you're mm -hmm. gonna be a bit more tired and then you do a back off and uh you know when you're tired you're when you go, see, uh, for example, if you train for 30 minutes, you're going to be, I don't know, like this tired. If you train mm -hmm. for an hour and a half, you're going to be this tired. And if you're this tired, you cannot do heavy weight. You can only do more reps and uh, less weight. So the further I am in the workout, uh, I try to be more friendly to my body and not push it to like, I don't know, extreme. some extreme limits. Because if you push it, I mean, of course, I push it to extreme limits when it comes to failure. 
But when it comes to like being stupid, no, I'm not gonna push. Yeah, it because if you yeah. harm yourself or something, yeah, it's I, could, worth it. I, I can tour my. Uh, so, for example, if my let me give an example. Uh, if I do five times twenty uh, reps on bench press, okay. I'm gonna do one set. Um, so the first set is gonna be for twenty reps failure, right? So every set has to be twenty reps failure. Yeah. And if I do the first set twenty reps failure, the second set I cannot do twenty. There's no way I'm gonna do twenty. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do seventeen maybe. Right? And then I'm gonna do the third set, I'm maybe gonna do 15. Then the fourth, I'm gonna do, I don't know, 13 maybe. Yeah. And then the fifth set, when I'm again pushing the same muscle, uh, this muscle is gonna be overworked, while these two are maybe gonna be um, a bit more preserved, a bit more um, like, uh, so what's the expression? A bit more, uh, so I'm not gonna be working them so much, right? They're gonna okay. be a bit more calm. Um, and if the triceps and the shoulder, if they take a lot of weight uh, in the bench press off my chest, they can tear, right? Okay. And if I tear my triceps, it's not going to be really yeah, good. Yeah, for the plan. long run. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's stupid. It's not just a good stupid. plan, yeah. You have to train smart, right? It's, yeah. You know, you can be as strong as you hard want. Hard but smart. Yeah, yeah, hard but smart. Always, al always until failure, always 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, my limit is when I go throw up two times, at least okay. two times. <laughs> if I, if, if I go did, through uh, up the second time, yeah. if I, you know, it's okay. But if I go the third time, then it's something is not good. <laughs> then something is not good. Yeah. You went too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, why did you decide for a journey like this? The so the journey of bodybuilding. Why? Why you 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 had like so many options? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you were good at like mm -hmm. multiple things, but at some point you, you you said like, I want bodybuilding. I want to be a bodybuilder. Why? Hmm. Well, I think it's because I was bullied. <laughs> <laughs> I was bullied in uh, when I was like uh, in uh, in elementary school. Okay. And I was like really skinny, uh, and I I always had a six pack. I think I got my I think I first noticed my six pack when I was like six years old or seven. Okay. I already had a six pack okay. because of the gymnastics, Gymnast right? Oh yeah. Um. So I was always like skinny, but I always had a six pack, right? So people always told me like, oh. Um, you don't have you're yeah, just because you, you have a six pack just because yeah. you're scared. I was like, okay. fuck you. <laughs> you're gonna become a beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, well. and I and I always told them, one day you're gonna see, and one day you're gonna be sorry that you said all this, right? Okay. And uh, you know, I just had this, like a lot of motivation, and I and I noticed. So, for example, um, two summers back, or maybe one summer back, when I was like 85 kg. I was already, you know, quite buff. You know, I mm -hmm. had six packs. I had, you know, kind of a big chest, maybe not so big arms, but I was already kind of jacked, right? People mm -hmm. noticed me, right? And I started noticing, for example, girls, like, you know, they kind of started talking like differently to me. You know, they were like, um, much more interested. You know, I uh, this was like the first Probably time in my life. Respect for you. Yeah, yeah, but you accomplished in, something. Yeah, in the first time in your life, for for the first time in my life, last summer. Like a group of five girls actually came to me and asked me who I was if I could give if I could give them my Instagram. I was like, okay. wow. Okay. So this is like this was like one of the things, right? For example, um, I was just looked at differently, right? So people okay. like people were looking at me like, oh my god, this guy has accomplished something. Why this guy? This guy is training for I don't know five years, but I was only training for like I don't know half a year, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So people basically started looking differently at okay. me, right? So this was the main reason why I kind of did it. At the start, yeah, at the start, yeah. yeah this was the 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 first like motivation, yeah, yeah to get yeah, you yeah. into this. But after that, like motivation fades. Yeah, or, it's discipline from then yeah. on. But for me, I was um, you know, in my soul, in my heart, um, I love uh, any like any kind of sport, any kind of mm -hmm. moving, any kind of exercise. Um, and for me, I just had a goal. I had a vision, and I set the goal. I was always like, for example, I was a big fan of, and still I still am a big fan of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. and uh, also Sebam, right? But I didn't know Sebam at the time. Um, and I always thought, what would it be like if I would be just basically bigger, better looking uh, in body than everybody else? What would happen? How would people look at me, right? Um, and you know, I also kind of you know like the uh, I I started watching like Mr. Olympia and uh, Arnold Classic and everything in and just basically bodybuilders, mm -hmm. and I started to kind of um, like the way they live, the, the the way they do things. You know, I never really liked to party maybe in the beginning, but then it got boring for me. So um, I never really liked to party. So this was like kind of the uh, the opposite way of partying, right? Just having like really a vision and a goal. 
and uh, when I started training, my only goal was to get bigger and to look good for the girls, right? Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Um, this but is then, the beginning of yeah, this is the beginning. Yeah, yeah, this is the beginning. But then, when I got older, I wanted to look good for myself. You know, I was like, "Fuck the girls! I want to look good for myself. I want to yeah. look in the mirror and say, wow, I achieved something.' You know, I, I look good. I, I I wanted to be comfy to feel without my shirt. In yeah, your, you in know, there. in my skin. Yeah. yeah. But then this turned into, oh my God, I mean, I could be like two kgs bigger. If I could just be two kgs bigger, it would be perfect. And then when I got two kgs more, I was like, fuck, maybe I could get three slowly kgs more. The, yeah, the slowly limit. pushing the limit, of course. And now that I know my potential, I'm just like, Mr. Olympia, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> See, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It grown, like, I just really <laughs> love the way how Sibam, I don't know, uh, for example, lives, you know, how he has his girlfriend. Uh, girlfriend. But this extra commitment life, so... Yeah. Every day, just like main focus on this thing. This is the lifestyle you want, like to live. Uh, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna say for the rest of your life because yeah. you can't compete. I don't know at 50, 60 years old. It's impossible. But do you want to live this kind of life? I don't know till you become. I don't know, Mr. Olympia. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's for me, uh, I don't like partying, as I said. Okay. But uh, for me, it's also uh, 100% of nothing. So people talk about balance all the time. You know, people talk, oh, yeah. you can go to the gym, you can go. Or plan A, plan yeah, B. Yeah, plan yeah, B. yeah. You can go, you can go to the gym, you can also, you know, party, you can drink you alcohol, you can, you know, get drunk sometimes. But I'm like, yeah, sure. If you want to be an amateur, sure. But if you want to be a professional, no way. Because yeah. what balance means is 50 50%, right? You, you cannot be 50 yeah. 50. You can only be 100%. Nothing, right? Or 100% nothing. You cannot be 50-50. Yeah, there is yeah. no 50-50 in sport. Yeah. Uh, if you want to achieve something in life, you can never be 50-50. You can only be 100% and focus on only one thing. Not two things. If you three. want to be the best. Only one thing. If only you want to be thing. average, you can do a lot of things. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Be average sure. But it's, you know, it's a choice of, you know, every, um, every individual. individual. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's a choice, you know. Yeah, uh, if you choose to look, live, I don't know, kind of like a peaceful life and, you know, not have to worry about being the best, oh my God, then sure go out, enjoy life, you know, just do everything uh, like a normal find teenager does. Maybe. Yeah, just find yeah. yourself, you know. Just do what, you know, a, a normal teenager does, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't say, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't say to a lot of teenagers like, oh my God, just, you, you cannot go to the gym or you cannot drink. <clears throat> I only ask them, what's your goal? This, this, this is like the only question I ask them, ever. What's your goal? And if they say, I want to be the best in the world, you cannot go party. You cannot go yeah, drink. Yeah. If they say, I just, you know, I just want to enjoy, go enjoy. Yeah, it's yeah. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's simple. Yeah, yeah. people are overcomplicated, you know, and people, uh, people are talking, I don't know. So, for example, people who go um, to the club every, I don't know, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, they're trying to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. This, this happens, like, every time. Yeah. They're trying to tell me, oh, you're so weird, you don't party, you don't, you know, do drugs, you don't do anything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what is this gonna do in my bodybuilding journey? Is it yeah. gonna give me some positives? No, mm. nothing. I'm not gonna learn anything, you know. Uh, if it's not a, a positive thing in your life, you have to cut yeah, it, basically. Yeah. You just have to cut it. If, if you wanna if be, I'm, yeah. Someone if you pulls you down, you have to cut them. Exactly, exactly. If yeah. you, if for example, you have friends that don't understand you or they don't support you, for example, you're trying to be, I don't know, um, the best streamer you wanna be, yeah. and your friends say, oh, you never, I don't know, you, you will never do it, just stop, uh, you know, stop doing it, just go out with us, go to the beach, you know, you don't need to play, you don't need to stream, you know, we could go out, we can, these are not your friends, these yeah. are not your friends, these yeah. are people They're pulling trying down. to bring it down, yeah, yeah, of course, but you you really need to have a goal, you need to have a vision, if you have a goal, if you have a vision, then I don't know what else is stopping you, because if you have a goal, you really want to do, you know, you you really want to go, you, um, you really want to get to that goal, right? Okay. So, um, if you don't really have a goal, you just drift. You just drift around. Yeah, you don't end up anywhere. And th this is one thing about the the people that wish to be something or want to achieve something, but they are not achieving it because I I think they they are not like truly they they don't want truly to achieve something. They just I don't know. They see a bodybuilder win the competition and I don't know look good on stage. And they say like, yeah, I, I want to be like that yeah, guy. Yeah, I want to yeah, be, yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, yeah. you don't want to put in the hours every day. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's, it's basically so you have uh, okay. So for example, you have uh, um, you have a wish, right? So you want to be the best. Yeah. 
what need is stronger the need to go out with your friends and drink or the need that you want to be the best what is stronger is the, the, the only question what is stronger if the need to go out is stronger then you're gonna go out yeah. but if the need if you're truly if you're uh, true to yourself and if you ask yourself what do i want to do in life and if the answer is i want to be the best then there is no way uh, the need uh, to go out is bigger than the need yeah, to yeah. be the best. It's it, it, it is no way. No way yeah. If you go out, it, it is a basically um, not in every case, but in most cases, if you get drunk every weekend, it is an indicator that you don't really have a lot of goals in life. This is just uh, like how I view it, right? Yeah. Uh, if we're talking about uh, people who do sports, if we're talking about people who, I don't know, do some uh, or want to invent something or like they have, for example, some accomplishments, some, some great things, things basically. Yeah. That's different because, for example, business, yeah. you can just make up something and you can make a hundred million dollars. And then yeah. you cannot say he's not successful because he has a hundred million, right? Yeah, yeah. It's different. We're talking about sports, right? Yeah. We're talking about bodybuilding. The commitment about, is... Yeah, yeah, the commitment, you just, you yeah. cannot drink, you cannot do anything else than yeah, your yeah. sport, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. In business, it's a bit different. But you can have a lot more fun because, you know, you don't need to eat a certain way. You don't need to, you know, it's, it's yeah. you know, being successful yeah. in sport. But you have probably different problems. Like, yeah, yeah, your yeah, problem yeah. is you have to eat at certain time every meal. But yeah. I don't know, maybe the problem of a, of a business owner, like the business is on. Yeah, the, but what I'm saying it, is, yeah. what I'm saying is you cannot party, you cannot drink because uh, the next day you will, you will not be able to train yeah. and you will not be able to, you know, do so these things. Works. This is a yes. big minor. And every time, every time you go out and you kind of, you know, relieve yourself, it's going to be easier the next time to go out. That's why. Because, for example, if you're, I don't know, two weeks out from a show, from a bodybuilding show, you're low on calories, you don't have any energy, you're depressed, your training is a shit, you think you look like shit, you know, everything is going basically... Um, uh, in the opposite direction of you, right? So your goal is Mr. Olympia, but everything else is going in yeah, the different backwards. direction, right? Everything, you know, is telling you, oh, you look small, oh, mm -hmm. you don't have any food, you don't have any energy. And then the thought of going out with your friends and drinking and having fun, you know, becomes increasingly and increasingly beautiful to your mind, right? Yeah. So if you quit once, it's easier to quit every, every single time, you know, yeah, yeah. In, in the future. So that's yeah, why yeah. I don't go out, you know? That's yeah. why I don't party or I don't get drunk. Uh, I agree. every time is going to be more yes. difficult yes, or yes. more easy to and, go out. And I agree with you because you want to be the best. And if you want to be the best, you have to be, like you said, 100% in. Yeah. But not everyone. I, I want to, like, uh, come on the... Um, I want to come into argument with you from the opposite side. Mm -hmm. So maybe for the people that don't want to be the best, but yeah, yeah. they maybe want to like look good in the gym and they actually don't need to be 100% in. Yeah, they want yeah. to like for them it's, look for them good. It's, yeah, of course. For and... them it's not as hardcore now. For them you don't... They you can go out. Yeah, for example, they, if you have yeah. good genetics, you can do basically everything wrong and you're still going to look, look very good. Very good. Yeah. yeah. If you don't really have good genetics, then okay, maybe you'll have to eat a certain way not like 5,000 calories, you're going to have to eat maybe a little bit more healthy, a little bit more um, foods that have, you know, more protein in them. Uh, and of course, they can party, they can do everything, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. We're talking about someone they don't who have has, to yeah, yeah, yeah. That we're, hard. Talking, we're talking about someone who has ambitions to be the best. Yeah. Everything else, so for everyone who doesn't want to be the best or who doesn't have the ambitions, yeah. Um, you can do basically everything. Yeah. You can do everything. You don't have that much. It's much easier. It's much easier, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, um, the next question I have for you is, do you want to compete in bodybuilding? <laughs> I know you do. And are you planning to use gear, so steroids, to achieve this max level of in bodybuilding? And do you think this, these things, so gear, will affect um, your health on the long yeah, term? Yeah, yeah. Um... Well, definitely, I'm gonna have to at some point use steroids because bodybuilding is, uh, you know, it's, it's. I mean, so this is another good argument. Basically, every good sport except IPF powerlifting, uh, for example, every good sport uh, has athletes that use steroids. It's it's a, a theme that is not talked about much, but for example, NBA is full of players who use steroids that affect your stamina. You know, you're more, you have more energy, you have more, you know, you can run for four hours nba nfl mma you know 
uh, soccer even there's a lot a but lot if of they sports. test you like yeah uh, they're, they're, they're never going they're... to test you they're never going to oh, test you okay in bodybuilding there's no testing in mma there's no testing there's test in mma for example there's testing for like testosterone or maybe gh mm -hmm. but you know there's so many steroids that you can basically use just a, a one that they don't test and you pass the test okay right so it's no secret if you're trying to be a professional athlete it's like racing if so if you have a race car you put uh, in the fuel, so 95 octane fuel, and you race. And your car has, I don't know, 600 horsepower. If you put E85 in your tank, just because of the fuel, your car is going to have 800 horsepower. So the, there's, have... a, there's a hole in the, si holes in the system. Yeah, 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 of course, basically. of course. Because yeah. every, So, for example, um, most uh, professional athletes, if we're not really talking about bodybuilding, because bodybuilding is extreme when it comes to steroids, mm -hmm. but uh, every professional athlete um uses some kind of steroids if they want to be the best right okay. but it's not affecting their health so much because steroids are not as uh, um are not as destructive as people think right so people see i don't know uh, bodybuilders dying and everyone but they're dying because they're taking i don't know two grams of testosterone a gram and a half of trend I don't know, 300 milligrams of Anivar, this is like re insanely high doses, it's right? It's like too much. These are insanely yeah. high doses, right? That's why they die, okay. right? People in bodybuilding die because they don't test their blood, they don't, they don't care. The only thing they care, and it is mostly in open bodybuilding. So in bodybuilding, you have men's physique, classic physique, and open bodybuilding, right? Okay. So in open bodybuilding, I think there's been like 10 deaths okay. in the history of bodybuilding. In classic physique, Zero deaths. And classic physique is the Chris Bumstead. Okay. Where Chris oh, this Bumstead is his... Uh... Yeah, of course, yeah. And I'm also going to compete in classic because you don't have to take... As many... And what's the third one? Men's physique. It's, it's basically men in swimsuit. In like a long... Uh, ah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, okay. So uh, for those two smaller divisions, you don't have to take a lot of gear. Okay. But in open bodybuilding, you know, there's guys that are, I don't know, um, 170 centimeters tall. And they have, I don't know, 145 kilograms, right? Okay. So open means you can, you can use everything. Yeah, you can use... No, no, no. Open means you can uh, be at any weight and at any height. Classic physique, for my height, you have uh, restrictions. For my height, I can be max 102 kg on stage. Ah, okay. Right? So, so you have you, divisions. Yeah, three divisions. Be because classic divisions, for example, if you are, uh, if you are I don't know, uh, 160 centimeters... You can only be, I don't know, 85 kg, for example. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm making yeah. it up as I don't know uh, by heart. Um, if you are, I don't know, uh, 190, you can be, I don't know, 110 kg, you know? It's, it's all proportion, okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open bodybuilding, you can be 150 centimeters and have 150 kg, okay. you know? It's, so uh, so, so th they want to be extreme. Mm -hmm. So they take a lot of gear to be as big of as course, possible, of course. as heavy and as possible. And that's why people die, right? Yeah. And people don't realize, for example, why do you... So, okay, how do you think... Um, that there's going to be professional athletes who don't use drugs that won't affect their life, but will make them uh, uh, better in every way in their sport. How do you think that, you know, these athletes exist? They don't exist. For example, why, why would, I don't know, a professional NBA player not take anything if it will never affect anything in his life? You know, maybe it will, I don't know, if you have a genetic predisposition, a predisposition, of course. Okay. If, if you have a genetic predisposition, then it can kill you, of course. Okay. Or it can do, you know, bad things to you. If you don't, it will do nothing, right? Okay. It will basically do nothing. Um, so why would you think that someone wouldn't take steroids if they're on the top of the world, on the top level of the sport? Why? It, 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 it it's just true, doesn't yeah. make sense. It doesn't make sense, you know? Logic. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's, it's logical. But it's not so widely, you know, known because, for example, NBA or soccer or, you know, MMA... Um, there's kind of, I guess I could, I could say skillful sports. Bodybuilding is not really a skillful sport because it's judged by how you look. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. because we have big muscles and because we're big and we're wide, and we, you know, that's why people say, oh, steroids, you know. But for example, an MMA boxer, you would look at him and say, oh, yeah, he trains hard. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't say he takes steroids. Just because he doesn't look big and he doesn't look bulky. Because enough. because this is not his goal. Yeah, yeah. His, his goal, goal is to be, you know, the best fighter. And to uh, be the best fighter. As a powerful exactly. As... And there are steroids that help you with explosiveness, with stamina, yeah. with everything. And that's, you know, people don't talk about that, you know. Yeah. So, so just, uh, a quick... controversial yeah. steroids are just the, the steroids that make you, like, 
big. Big. And... Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And so that's so basically my answer to this question is yes, I'm gonna take uh, steroids because I'm gonna have to in I don't yeah. know two or three years. If you want to compete with yeah, of course. In two or three years, yeah, of course. Um, but when I do after my first cycle, I'm gonna check my blood results, and if they're gonna be bad, I'm gonna completely stop using them, and I'm gonna shift to kind of a different lifestyle. Um, and you you're gonna quit on the goal uh, of becoming Mr. Olympia, yes, but I'm still gonna be a personal trainer. I'm still gonna train because okay. I love I love I love the gym. I love you know everything so th- about this. Is your plan about stuff. steroids? Yeah, if, you will try, but if my body can effects, yeah, if you... my body cannot take steroids, then no, I'm not gonna pursue the risk. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna pursue professional bodybuilding. But um, you know, if my body can take, of course, then I'm you know I'm gonna pursue professional. And what, what do you what do you think? You're scared that your body is not gonna take it. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this is your concern. Yeah, this is my only concern about like uh, me not me not uh, achieving something in bodybuilding. This is my only okay. concern. Everything else, you know, I'm good because I know what I do on a daily basis. I know how hard I train. I know how you know uh, consistent I eat. You know, and everything, and how much effort I actually put into this sport. The only thing that could fuck me up basically is my uh, genetic predisposition. This is the only thing that can fuck me up, and even yeah. We're, 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 so we're genetics, see. yeah, yeah, genetics for handling steroids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I know your genetics are good, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a little confused. Um, so if you if your body takes the steroids well, and you you compete in the this classic what mm-hmm. division, do you think still long on the long effects. run, yeah, will you affect? Uh, this affect you? Well, it depends how much you abuse steroids. It depends. It really depends. But if you want to be like top-notch winner, Mr. In classic physique? Yeah. Well, this also depends, again, on how your body uh, reacts. Because, for example, I could take, I don't know, 300 milligrams of testosterone, and my body would be like, oh my god, I have so much power. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna grow and grow and grow. But some people, even in the body sense, um, they take, I don't know, a gram and a half, so uh, 1,500 milligrams. So, for example, I take 300, I'm going to take 300 for my first dose. They take 1,500 milligrams, and they don't even look like they train, because they bought, their body uh, cannot use uh, all the power that they give them, right? Okay. So it's, again, genetics, right? Everything is genetics, everything. But is, with steroids, is the same effect as, like, uh, caffeine or something, when more you abuse it, less effective it becomes. Mm, yeah, or it's, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So if you use it basically too much, is it cancels the, the positive effects. Yes, yes. To some degree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so you have to be balanced. In, yeah, in if, you, if you take a gram and a half of testosterone, and if you take two grams, it's not that big of a difference. If you take zero, or if you take 500 grams, it's, it's bigger. It's, it's a yeah. lot, it's like a really big difference. Okay, okay. But that's the only thing, right? Okay, 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 okay. Um... Okay, let's read the chat for, for a second. Uh, True Bank, Phil and Turk, yo, what's up, Kuno, uh, Zana, how are you doing, my other? How, how are you doing, chat? Uh, smash the like if you haven't already and uh, subscribe. So, yeah, let's go to a thousand subscribers. If you have any questions, uh, type in the chat. Uh, I have my own questions for him. Uh, so, maybe at the end, maybe if, you, if we will ask you to write some questions, I can ask Leo and we can talk about it. Uh, but yeah, can you just hand me the the water, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, okay. The next question I have for you is: How did you become so disciplined at such a young age, and when did, when did the shift in your head like happen uh, with a with the discipline? Well, uh, I was I had a lot of like serious talks with my parents especially with my father. Um, and what I realized is that uh, whatever you do, you must do it at 100%. So this is like the most, uh, this is like the main thing that I got from all the conversations. So they encourage you to, what, whatever you do, you must do it 100%. Yeah, yeah. My, father, my father always said, uh, whatever you do, you need to be among the best, because if you're among the best, you're going to get paid good you're going to live a good life and you're also going to be happy with yourself, right? So whatever I would end up doing, you know, okay. I'm sure I would, you know, always be at, you know, at the, the top. Best. Yeah, at the top. Not, maybe not the best, but at the top. Yeah, you know? yeah. So um, your, your family, your parents, um, 
positively affected your way of thinking yeah uh, like becoming the best or as yeah, good yeah, as yeah, possible yeah and it was yeah and it was if, also if you, it was also my observings you know because you know what 17 or what 16 what 18 year old does what i do you know yeah. there is you know there is uh, not much for them there is not much not for them, yeah. um and i think that uh you know i'm one of the only ones to do this right i think i'm one of the only ones and uh to i take a this extreme at such a young age yes yes yeah yeah so uh you know in my mind i think okay so if i do everything perfect if i don't party if i don't go out if i eat train sleep repeat and if i train until failure and have good genetics there is no way somebody's gonna beat me there's no way right so that's my motivation i know i'm gonna be the best you know and people say oh no you may not be i may not be but at least i'm gonna know i gave a thousand percent on everything right okay so i'm gonna sleep well okay <laughs> basically if, yeah if i um i i don't want to be like negative i want to just be real mm -hmm. are you concerned about like uh hurting yourself uh while doing some exercises or i don't know i you you train a lot and i don't know you you fell down the stairs and i don't know break oh, your arm yeah, and yeah yeah did this really these are things that can happen you know yeah, i don't think that's why about I'm them. I, I don't want to be yeah, yeah, i know i know i know i know yeah i don't think about them really i just you know i just live my life and try to be as careful as possible i don't do stupid things of course um but i try to be as uh you know as as uh, careful as possible and you know this this is basically my There's way of thinking much yeah yeah this is basically you, my you way can of do thinking. more than that basically. yeah of course but i think that uh you know it's uh it's a matter of uh, you know each individual so if you do if you're like really uh like going out and doing stupid things then yeah something might happen to you but you know yeah. i i'm pretty sure that i can walk down the stairs but you know of yeah, course yeah. it could happen it yeah, could yeah. happen um but i think i don't know if i break my arm then you know it's gonna have it's gonna take like a year probably until i start normally training but then when i start oh, i'm just gonna be a different me again <laughs> just a better me <laughs> okay, what doesn't okay. kill you makes you stronger yeah that's for sure um I'm I'm thinking about the mindsets mindsets of different people and I notice that a lot of like people our age don't want to give a hundred percent because they don't want to um they are scared of I don't know oh, war. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. scared of uh, scared of end of the world. They are scared of I don't know another COVID wave. Mm -hmm. And like I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna build my own business, I'm not gonna train that hard because like I don't know. Maybe in September, the the new wave is gonna come and and we'll lose everything. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, I think it's stupid because you only gather you only gather um like uh, experience. You know, you only gather experience. Mm -hmm. uh, you're only more smarter. So after every experience in your life, you're smarter, right? If you I don't know, for example, if you do something stupid to break your arm, you're gonna be smarter because you're gonna know. Okay, I'm never gonna do it again. Yeah. Right? If I don't know, um, if a girl break up. If a girl breaks up with you, okay, you did. You probably did something wrong, or you didn't pay attention to her, or you didn't, you know, you, you didn't do something right. You're gonna be smarter again. You know, I'm not gonna be depressed. For example, I'm never gonna be depressed for some I don't know stupid reason. You know, mm. for example, if okay, so this is because my girlfriend is watching, right? Okay. <laughs> if she would leave me, I would probably kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> if she would leave me, I would probably kill myself. <laughs> Don't because, leave him. <laughs> because she is basically the sunshine of my life. I love her okay. so much. Okay. It, it's you know, I just love her so much. She's basically the if I'm I could be like depressed as hell because of my bodybuilding career and everything. Okay. She makes it all go away. So I just I basically found my angel. I found okay. uh, a girl that will um hopefully um have my kids, of okay. course, right? and uh, so that's a really big plus right but if we're talking everything else than that i'm never gonna be depressed for some fucking stupid reason right mm. i'm never gonna be depressed okay. so, everything uh, is fixable if you yeah like, everything is just fixable. get up yeah and of course work of course more. of course because you know it doesn't kill you it doesn't you know do anything to you you know it just kind of yeah. hits you um mentally yeah but if you're mentally strong enough you can defeat everything you know nothing yeah. nothing you can is... overcome it and yeah of course become stronger every yeah, time of course it's i think it's easy i it's have some i'm fucking yeah thirsty so me much. too <laughs> i swear uh i have a oh. a question about a girl okay or yeah, yeah. relationship so yeah, okay. i think no, yeah um yeah um okay i'll skip one uh i will ask you that one later and 
I wanted to ask you, are you in a relationship? So yeah, now, yeah, yeah, of course. now we know he is. And how do you find time for all the things you are doing? And do you even have time to enjoy yourself in free time? Um, if you even have it. So enjoy yourself. I don't mean that you party. Mm -hmm. I just mean like to if you have time relax and do to it. relax, like yeah, watch, yeah, yeah. I don't know, a movie, play some games. So it's it's a funny thing. For me, gym is a therapy. A, my in my free time I, I I basically if I could be in the gym for the whole day, I would be the whole day at the gym. <laughs> I just I just love it. I just yeah. love the whole atmosphere and everything. So for me, free time is basically everything that I do. I basically do so for example, some people I don't know, um they go to work and then they they come home and then they have a passion and they love to do it and they do it every day for um maybe an hour i basically live my passion i live yeah, yeah. my i it's live different. yeah you're I live not my waiting passion. for the weekend yeah you're basically waiting I'm, for the monday yeah yeah i'm basically for i'm waiting for every day i'm waiting yeah, for every yeah. day every day i wake up I, yeah this is the the life yeah. i want to live as well yeah i don't want to like wait oh uh it's friday yes i'm so happy it's two days in in the week I have like off. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. And yeah, the yeah. other five days you're gonna do suffer. Yeah. yeah for a, a freaking boss to get rich and you're you yeah, you pay talking, six hours, six euros per hour. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're talking about my girlfriend, for example, Anna. Yeah. Um, she, you know, she's also she also goes to the gym with me. Okay. She cooks me everything. You know, she um she hugs me when I'm you know sad. You know, she basically does everything right. And um, I basically in her I found a person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And uh, she, you know, it's just, everything is so much easier with her because um, she is coached by the same coaches, you know, that, that trains me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, she also has to eat, you know, with a regimen, you know, she has four meals, you know, she has to eat, you know, she also doesn't like to party, you know, we're, we are very similar. Okay. We both like sports, we both like bodybuilding. She also wants to compete in bodybuilding. Okay. Um, so it's you know it's a dream life and okay. it's but really a dream life would you date a girl there that, that is not like um same mentality in the way of like bodybuilding and trying to become as long as long as she doesn't really you know kind of criticize me or like say oh you don't have any time for me you're always at the gym yeah. if she does do that if she supports me if she cooks for me and cooks for me it's like yeah. a way of support if she supports me it's it's cool. She okay. she doesn't have to be okay. in bodybuilding. Okay, this is just like a plus. But uh, I think she has to do some sport because yeah, if yeah. she doesn't do anything, she just want you know she just wants to you know do nothing basically, and it's not really my type of yeah. you know girl. But um, I think she really you know just uh, she just has to be supportive. That's the only thing I you know want from a woman. She I want I want her to feel safe with me, and I want um. I want myself to feel comfy with her being out with anybody except for some shady dudes, maybe, okay? But, for example, if Anna goes out, I know she's never going to cheat. You know, okay. I know she's never going to cheat. I know she's never going to go with, other, with another boy because I trust her, right? Um, we've built that kind of relationship that, um, you know, we, we, we trust each other. So I know that she's never going to cheat, so I'm, you know, I'm calm. But the only thing is my ego doesn't really allow me to let her... Um, be around other dudes because you know for example if you're single you, for, you I have the same views as you yeah, yeah if you're mm -hmm. single I know how other men think and I know they want to do you know, like, stuff this, this is the yeah, thing yeah 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 about... I know they want to do stuff with yeah. her I know they want to do it you know they're not talking to I'm her not because listen. like She's uh yeah, yeah. I don't and, know. Andrew Tate said it, you know. Yeah. If you have a Bugatti and you know the Bugatti is like well protected, it has you know security Locks systems. But if somebody you know goes and snitch snitches around and mm -hmm. tries to do something shady, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna tell him stop. Yeah, right? yeah. And it's the same thing with my girl, right? Yeah. I don't want her anybody to even try. Yeah, it's territorial. Not, it's territorialism, uh, whatever. Not yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree I, with I that. Can, I can I can let her go anywhere. I know she's not, she's never gonna cheat, but my ego tells me, bro. Is she your girl? Yeah, you, you don't want to put chick? her in the positions that you are risking. Maybe I don't know, anything. Fifteen dudes coming yeah, yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah, basically anything. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. baby girl, how much you doing? Nah, bro. Like, nah, bro. Get even if she tells there, them no, it's still like I, I don't it's want annoying. to worry about that. It's annoying. It's annoying. Like I want to do my shit and I want to do it like yep. good. It's annoying. It's really annoying. I I don't like that either. Like yeah. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's never gonna happen with me. <laughs> so uh, you know, it's yeah. just. Uh, I mean, I trust her. I love her. I love her so much. I love her the most. In you know that I ever loved anyone. 
I never actually thought that it's possible that I would love some someone else as much as I love her. So this okay. is, you know, I just, I'm, so I'm, some... I'm living a dream. Yeah, I'm okay. basically I'm living a dream with her. Okay. Um, Again, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. Mm-hmm. I hope you like achieve everything yeah, together, yeah, for sure. create a family. But in the case, yeah, if it doesn't work out, yeah, with Anna, I mean, you, yeah, mm-hmm. you don't, uh, you can be independent in the way like to cook your own meals. Yeah, of course. To to yeah, course. to not have problems yeah, if someone yeah. doesn't hug you. Yeah, well, uh, I can cook everything on my own. Okay, but I think she is such Emotional a big support. Yeah, she's such a big part of my life now that if she would leave for some reason, vem <laughs> um, If she would leave for yeah. some uh, reason, you know, it would. Uh, it would scar me probably like really bad and I would be really, really sad, but I would have access to the forbidden pre-workout, <laughs> which is basically my rage and sadness. Yeah. So <laughs> to destroy it. Yeah. At the gym. <laughs> exactly. I would be Mr. Limpa in two years. Okay. Start taking steroids now. I don't I, care. If you want the best for him, <laughs> <laughs> you know what you have to do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, okay, mm-hmm. I think we will get to Andrew Tate a little bit later, and mm-hmm. we will d- discuss everything about him. Um, I skipped one question, question, and that is: Have you ever considered creating content for social media? And like, if God forbid you don't like, uh, if steroids affect you mm-hmm. poorly and okay, you okay, quit okay. Uh, this dream, do you want like? Your backup to be maybe social media on like yeah, influencers, yeah, of course, yeah, okay. yeah. This is this is like also like a kind of the same direction where I go. So my goal is to be Mr. Olympia, but on the side I also am trying to build you know a fan base. Okay, I'm trying to kind of be an influencer Community and try, yeah, and try to build you know try to show people that you know being healthy is not, it's not hard, and having good physique is not hard. You know, it just you need to put some work, work in, you know? Yeah. And I'm trying to, I, I would like to try and be this and uh, help people mm. to, you know, achieve something, at least, you know, physique-wise and everything, you right know, and just sport-wise. Okay. I would, I just love helping people, you know, okay. I love helping others. And f- financially, maybe. Yeah. What are your plans for the future? Where do you want your income to, to come from? I definitely want to work at my current sponsor, Swybrand. Okay. Uh, I would like to be involved in uh, their marketing team, you know, their um, like, you know, design team. I just want to work in this kind of like fitness industry, you know, in a kind of clothing industry, you know, because it's really close to me. So I would really love to work in this kind of industry. Mm, I think for my first like real job, I'm probably going to work in some like protein store or something like that. Okay. Or, you know, somewhere in uh, so that I get as much experience as possible and as much knowledge as possible about selling people things. Um and then I would really love to be involved in, you know... In the marketing. Yeah, in the uh, marketing. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's... And, okay. oh, and okay. also, I would like to be a personal trainer and a coach. This is, like, okay. a really big passion. Yeah, but, but this is uh, kind of connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, time, e- so. Everything in the fitness industry, as I look at it, it's connected. Everything, okay. yeah. So, so do you... The, the, uh, what, Mr. Olympia? Yeah. Is, okay, so... Achieving that, it brings you like a money reward, or mm-hmm. you just um, just like achieving it for the status. For the status, I don't care about money. I could, I could, I could get zero dollars and okay. be if okay. So for example, uh, if you have a scenario, if I would be tenth in the Mr. Olympia and get a million dollars, or be Mr. Olympia and get zero, I would take the fucking Mr. Olympia okay. and zero. Okay. Because everyone would know I'm the best. Okay. And everyone would know Mr. Olympia. Leo more than... See, yeah. And everyone would know, oh my god, it's the first Mr. Limpa in Slovenia. No, everyone would know me. Yeah. And if everyone knows me, uh, I have a lot more business opportunities, you know, that way. If everyone okay. knows the name Leo Coco, you know. It's, yeah, yeah. It, you know. yeah, you can earn more money yeah, yeah. I mean, because but you it's became not about fucking the money. Mr. See, I could, I, could do, I could do bodybuilding for zero dollars, for example, if I had free food and free everything. And if I could live just by, you know, for free, existing. everything, <laughs> yeah. just by existing... I could get zero dollars. I don't care about the money. Money is so, so much, like, so, I really don't care about money. Irrelevant. Yeah, yeah it's okay. irrelevant. For me, it's so much irrelevant that, you know, I just really want to be good in my sport. I want to enjoy my life while doing this sport. Okay. And that's the only motivation I have. Money is really not a motivation, you know. I could I could be unhappy with $10 million. And, you know, people say, you know, I'm, I'm, I would rather cry in my Bugatti, Veyron, yeah. you know. But I say, 
why would you even cry if you can live a, such a happy life and you can be so happy with yourself? Yeah. You know, what okay. you have achieved. I don't care if you have a fucking Bugatti. I don't care. Yeah. If you have, you know, um, if you're not happy with yourself, you lost. Yeah. You, okay. you didn't achieve anything in your life. You can okay. have a, a hundred million dollar house and, you know, a one billion in your bank account. If you're not happy with yourself, if you cannot go to sleep without overthinking, you, you, you're you not doing something right. Okay. I, I agree with you to some degree and I want to dive a little bit in the, the money situation if you're, if you're okay with that. Um, like if you don't care about money, okay, ah, uh, that's like mental health and everything is like really important. But mm-hmm. if you, um, if you like, okay, let's leave the parents out of the equation okay. and the, the the family background that supports you financially mm-hmm. with a home, a place mm-hmm. to live, or anything. Um, like you have to have some income. Yeah, to, to, to 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 live basically yeah so you, you have to pay like your rent or whatever or the the credit for the house uh you have to pay for food you have to pay for for the yeah, uh, course, water course, electricity yeah. uh ba- or only the basic needs require some source of income and some some source of money to mm-hmm. so to, to live normally mm-hmm. and the next step if i don't know if you want to like travel maybe mm-hmm. if you want to have some uh freedom in that directions like you want to go for a week on the on the i don't know miami beach or where, whatever yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get you you, ha- yeah. you have to have some money if you you mm-hmm. want to like maybe experience yeah but it's basic you know, the, that, you know that's kind of like maybe not basic but that's like you know if you have a job if you have a stable job if you, if you are like uh if you're smart with your money and have like a basic job you can do you know, both things. Of things right yeah I'm, um i mean it depends what you mean most yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can't buy a Bugatti. I just need food. Okay, but you, need... you you can buy um, I don't know what you, you can build hold home gym. Yeah, that's true. I mean it. That's if true. you don't have enough money, you can't afford yeah, know, to buy equipment. For... Yeah, but that's all extras. You know, I could be if if the money is gonna come, sure. But what I wanna say, I don't. I'm not doing bodybuilding for money. Okay, I'm doing this because I love it. If money comes, sure, I'll, I will accept it, of course. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not doing this for money. This, okay. this is the only point that I want, you know, to kind of get. Okay, so you're basically not putting money. Yeah, because for, in front of yeah, because right things. now I'm not making. Okay, yes, maybe I'm making because of the sponsorship. Yeah. But directly from bodybuilding, I'm not making any money, and I still do it. So, for example, uh, imagine if I would get money directly from looking like a bodybuilder from being a bodybuilder yeah it would be so much easier right for, for example right now i'm doing this simply with my love and my heart and i'm doing everything you know all, all of this okay if i would get paid and you know would be have potential <laughs> okay it, it would be what, so much easier what would you do if like you have to work a job mm-hmm. nine to five oh for five days a week police officer <laughs> no 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 uh uh, which job but if oh. you have to do a job and this jobs job affect your plans for mr olympia uh, fuck. we are back to the money thing yeah what you do you have to do the job you have to pay the bills you yeah, have to, to pay for food and but you can train as hard you, you must i don't know do two workouts less <laughs> I would uh, I would find a way. I would just find a way. I would uh, do two workouts less and do everything else even more like okay. You know, I would just have to find a way cuz you have to pay the bills, you know. I just have to yeah. I have to bring food to the pay, to, to the table, yeah. I have to pay, you know, everything. Yeah. Uh I have to enable my baby, you know, in normal life. Yeah, yeah. So So uh, yeah, for that even you need even, Yeah, of course. The baby costs you a, a flat yeah, yeah. Uh, of until it's, uh, I think, 18. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, of course I'm going to have to bring money to the table, but I'm, I would figure out I would figure out a way. Okay, it okay. Would just, so I know in myself would, I would figure out a way. Somehow, I would just yeah, do it. You would find, find yeah. a way to work. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, also, in my opinion, because who is more important than training, so you can eat in, in, in a 9 to 5 job, kind of like normally at least i would um so you know i could live with like a couple more rest days it would be okay okay um okay 
I don't think I have a question for you because you put money in front of, I mean, passion in front of everything. So, do you want to travel mm -hmm. across the world? Mm -hmm. Do you have? The, the, I mean, sure, but the desire. When, sure, but when I'm done with bodybuilding, okay. <laughs> right so now, after that, yeah, you enjoy it. But for me, it's like I cannot like move around and you know be consistent. It's so hard for me. Some people can, but I just cannot do it. For example, you know, go to the airport and like eat rice and on rice and chicken on the airport. I cannot do it. I need to have like a table, a plate, you know, chicken and rice, and I need to like look at TV and watch something because it's really hard for me to eat food because I don't have a lot of appetite, right? I need to have like a really stable environment. Yeah. Right. And when I'm finished, sure, we can travel to anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or when, I, or maybe when I'm in the off season, of course. When I'm in the off season, you you, you have sure, some spare time. But when I'm preparing for a show, no way. Okay. When I'm preparing for a show, no way. I just yeah, have to yeah, be yeah. home, gym, home, gym, home, gym. Okay. And work, maybe, of course. If okay. I'm working, work. Yeah. So, so right now, you don't want a balanced life? Nah. You want just to 100% commit yeah, to course. the bodybuilding? Yeah. And after, you, I don't know, you achieve a few times Mr. Olympia? Yeah, sure. And you, 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 you can't compete with the younger guys that are much yeah, more... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, motivated sure. Then, then I'm like going to go more into, like, uh, you know, building a business or building my own for gym. balance, yeah, life, course, children... Sorry, yeah, yeah. Family, okay, okay. Um, I had a question that your girlfriend also train, and do you think this is an important factor for you? Yeah, yeah I kind of asked you already that. Yeah, but, uh, but I you, already answered. <laughs> yeah, so you basically answered it. We answered it before. Um, do you think it's worth being in a relationship at such a young age? <laughs> If you really think it's the one, okay. yes. If you're not sure, no. Because you're basically wasting time. Okay. You're like really wasting time with Literally. you know the wrong girl. But because I know that she's, you know, I know that uh, But you have previous relationships, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. And sure. they at the I, point you find out that this is not the one. He, did you say it was really a point, but you know, back then I didn't I wasn't searching for a uh, committed relationship. Okay. Back then, it was basically only, you know... Go with the flow. Yeah, go with the flow. If you find the... Enjoy. Well, yeah. Yeah. If you don't find it, it's okay too. Yeah, but when I met Anna, for example, I just kind of... Something was different, you know? Something was very different. Everything was just different from it all the clicked. other girls. Yeah, it just... The way we talked, the way she listened. Like, she was basically the only, one, the only uh, girl in my life that would listen to me. And they would actually remember things, you know? And they would actually be involved, you know? Um... So, so I listen and actually listen. Yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah of just, course, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, okay. something was just so different about her. And uh, I just, I, I felt so much different. And when I wasn't with her, I felt, you know, kind of you know, not good, empty, you know. And um, then we got together. We were together for like the first, I don't know, a month and two months. And then I already knew she was the one. I already knew. She, she knew it too? Or... She needed more time. Oof, I think we had a conversation about this. Uh, okay, so we were, I think, <laughs> let me remember this. Uh, about this conversation, yeah, we had it like, I don't know, probably a month or so ago. Mm, and she told me, because we, we met on Instagram, we didn't know how, okay, she, she knew how I looked, but I didn't know how she looked. Okay. Right? So uh, I was really impressed by her personality, right? And we were when we first got on video call, I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, we could work with that. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> um so and we really talked a lot. You met we, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't because meet of, in real life. Because of her sister. Yeah. She her sister uh went uh in is still going in the same gym as me in Body oh, Scope, right? And so she I basically, introduced her. Yeah, I basically um I wanted to be with her sister first, okay. yeah. But then um, I kind of uh, get to know her more, you know, got to know her more, and I just said, "Nah, she's probably not the one," you know. Um, and I kind of lost all affection for her, you know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really. It Into was it. just, you know, I was just like, oh, "Okay, she looks pretty. Maybe I could ask her out," you know. This is for her older sister. Um, How much older is is the older sister? Just for six years. Older, older. yeah, okay. <laughs> it's older than yeah, you know. uh, yeah. It's a big difference, yeah. yeah. But I didn't knew it at the time, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, she's uh, she's she's also a good person. You know, we her name is Nika. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I get along with her just fine. 
but uh, I know I wouldn't have a relationship with her because she's not she's she's not my type. But when I get to got to know Anna, I just click instantly clicked and we got to you know know each other really fast and you know just really uh talked everything out and you know i just knew okay she's the one she's the one i just i just knew it easy as that yeah it's <laughs> it was really easy if it's complicated it's probably you know yeah 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 not the best if if it's like really easy but and everything is easy if you have like your things in and priorities in your head yeah order you yeah, know yeah, yeah if you don't have the the things in your head in order it's always complicated because at the same time you are searching for yourself mm -hmm. and you don't know exactly who you are. But mm -hmm. in your case, you knew you knew who you are. You you yeah, know hundred percent in this shit. I want to be the best. Fuck everything. Yeah. Th this is this is my thing. Mm -hmm. and, and like your life is like mapped out. Yeah, it's already uh, mapped out. Yeah, I know. And w when you clicked with her, it was probably because you knew who you are. Mm -hmm. She know her, and yeah. you you co maybe connected. Because you were at maybe a younger age, yeah. Like yeah. Let's say seventeen is a pretty young age. Eighteen, uh, you connected so well because like you have your goals sorted out and, mm -hmm. and yeah. That's there's cool. no room for like changing. Oh yeah, yeah we actually I'm gonna go on the other side of the world. We actually never are. We're we're gonna be together for six months in uh, fourteen days. Okay. And I don't think we ever argued. Okay, so is there was all of your problems. Yeah, there wasn't. Talking we just talk. and... Yeah, we just were just talking. You know, we never like really argued. Never. I don't think because we're just you know we're so kind of like you know okay. connected and you know uh, we we know each other like really well. That okay, point. okay, that's really nice. Um, do you want to stay maybe a little bit more on the relationships or if you want to... as you wish? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll come back to them. Um, okay, what do you think? This is this is the I think yeah this is the question I, I really like because as you know I deleted a lot of my apps mm -hmm. so you will understand when I when mm -hmm. I read it to you. What do you think about social media and what do you think about TikTok and TikTok addicting algorithm and people spending too much time on the app without realizing? So spending I don't know five hours a day on TikTok and they don't even know. They they could have used that time better. So what's your opinion on all all of this? Well, I mean I watch TikTok, but you know I have my shit together. So I think it's uh like TikTok is just an like an extra. You know everything is like you know even video games. Everything is just an extra to your life, right? So you need to have your life figured out first. You need to figure out what you want, who you want to be, and what and what you want to do, right? And when you figure that out. And you are on that path, you know. You cannot do, I don't know, if, even if you, I don't know, if you're like a musician, you cannot practice a, a guitar for like 10 hours. You just yeah. cannot do it. You cannot do it. You need to have some uh, time off. And in that time off, when, you, when you're like relaxing from your main thing, sure, you can watch TikTok, you can play video games, but you cannot turn it around. You cannot mainly watch TikTok and play video games. If yeah. video games are not your main profession, yeah, yeah, professional yeah. or like uh, streaming, yeah, yeah. Um, you cannot, you know, I don't know, for example, have an ambition of being, I don't know, a tennis player and mostly playing games. You cannot be a tennis player. You can be a gamer. You cannot be a tennis player if you play only one, or maybe not, may only, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, you know, you cannot be a tennis player. Yeah, yeah. You know, you need to spend most of your time on your main thing. And then if you have some time, time off, you know, if you're like really tired and just can't do anything. But is it sure. good to spend your free time watching TikTok? Not I, really. Do you think it's a good spend free time? <laughs> no. Not really. I think you should like um, educate yourself in every way, like the most you can. Uh, you know, people say, you know, oh, school is the only... Nah, just school is the least education you can... Yeah, school is basically, yeah, school is basically the least important thing you can yeah. uh, think of as a teenager. And it may sound like really weird, but if you don't want to be a doctor or some profession that like really needs studying... Yeah, a lawyer or something. Yeah, or, or, or like a lawyer, this is your least like yeah. important thing. Yeah. This is your least important thing because if you're not going to be... It's not going to get you yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to get you far because you can, you, can, you know... Uh, some people have finished, you know, the uh, gymnasium with like, uh, I don't know... Uh, a um how is it called with like a hundred percent and then they go to the college for yeah, them, yeah, then they go to college and they finish you know they have everything like nines and tens yeah and then they end up working in like a normal job yeah, yeah. little something like yeah, that yeah 
So you spent all of this time for studying and, yeah. and you didn't do shit. Yeah, because I think I think this is because they think um like going on this pattern like uh, school ed- educational system. Yeah, it's like bullshit. you you should the degree. Yes, please. I want you because you finished this college. Like they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they just give a fuck if you're good at it. Yeah. So, for example, show little, them proof. Yeah. Show them like if experience. Be, I always you know I always do like uh, you know okay so if you're a musician right so in uh, um, in Copper, you have a uh, I don't know yeah, what to yeah. say. Um, so uh, it's uh, it's basically who who are you gonna hire? A musician who is okay but has all like in, uh, excellent grades, yeah. Or a musician who is the best in the world but has really bad grades. Yeah, yeah. Who cares if you have bad grades yeah, if yeah. you're the if best you in the world? Old. If you show results, who cares? Yeah, nobody it blows cares. Everything else away. When in life am I ever gonna use um? Uh, uh, mathematics when yeah, yeah. or like uh, physics or yeah, anything I mean, when I mean the simple Never. yes simple mathematics plus minus yeah, yes sure, but yeah, other sure. than that but that's, that, that's you're not gonna use thing. anything I'm never gonna use anything yeah. from what I've learned in school never yeah. yeah never ever and that's what I tell people so my parents tell me oh Leo but you have to finish because of the diploma yeah sure but I'm not gonna prioritize getting a diploma over getting a career in something yeah, there's yeah. no way there's mm-hmm. no way and i don't get why people people you know stress so much about having all fives and having all fours in school yeah. and they don't prioritize anything else yeah i, I like that my anything, parents no? didn't push me to have the best grades possible um i i, I know i'm smart enough to get fives yeah and sure. yeah, now okay, in college. yeah sure it's, but it's always i don't give a fuck my only goal is like to spend as uh, not as much, but as less time as possible. Studying, studying while, while just still, to get through. Yeah, yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if I have tens in the in my college. I don't give like a single fuck. Yeah, I, I worked and get like jobs, um, like with marketing. Yeah. In, in companies without having anything. Yeah, yeah. I I just like worked on me on my uh, social medias. I I g- gained some knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I presented my knowledge to the companies. They were yeah. yeah. We can use that. Let's yeah. try it out. Yeah, sure, of course. And, and this is the thing: like, bring results. You know how to. Se- you know you have to know how to sell yourself. You 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 have to know how to uh, present like your um, your strong points mm-hmm. to like a company, maybe or an individual or whatever. And like, the degree is fucking nothing. I, I I'm not gonna tell names, but I know like uh, people that finish uh, gymnasia fives. Uh, college uh, and after college is uh, magister. I don't know how to say yeah, it. Yeah, magister in doctorate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to say it in English, but <clears throat> and they don't have a job. They, oh, yeah. Or they have a job that pays a, as much as little. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 1100. Yeah, sure. Month. I mean, I'm not, I'm, yeah, we're, we're, we're not bringing people that work in little down. We're just saying, yeah, you, know, yeah. you just do all of this work just to end up, you know. Like you know, that. If you because, love that, this is okay. Yeah, because you ex- but, you you expect someone you know who has so many degrees to work. I don't know to be a lawyer, but then he has so many degrees yeah. and he or to work in a company and get ten thousand a month. Like yeah, he, it's, you know, it's not it's not work like that. <laughs> you just need to have your passion and just work. You know, just yeah. do, do do the passion every day. Like I think KSI said it. The school is just uh, like a system that helps you maybe find your 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 passion. And mm-hmm. yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe sure, yeah. in some way, like, yeah, yeah, it's not. I didn't find streaming in school, mm-hmm. it's like obvious, but maybe when I had informatics in school, mm-hmm. I maybe saw, oh, I like like computers, I like work, yeah, yeah. working, I, I can get a lot of work done just yeah. by sitting and maybe on the screen, and I can do a lot. Mm-hmm. And maybe that led to another thing to another, and then streaming. Mm-hmm. So, this is this is. Yeah, maybe the yeah, thing that right. it yeah, helps yeah, yeah, yeah. to find your way if you want to find it. But if you don't, if you're blind and if you don't want to find, it, you're going to find oh, anything. Doesn't help you with you're going to work in the little and have little <laughs> life. <laughs> 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 little sales. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> offer. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is uh, think about it. Mm. So yeah, what's your um, suggestion to the people that spend too much time? Look, so they oh I can focus on on uh, let's say gym. I want to be the best. I want to be the best. I can focus on the gym. Uh, 
I, I spend too much time on TikTok. It's so addicting. I really like to like swipe. Um, Stop being a pussy. Yeah. Stop being a. <laughs> Stop being a fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. But. What What do you need to do? Maybe the, to. In, to in shift your mind, your mentality. To switch? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Ooh, well, I, I like to swipe, but fuck uh, that. I, I need to work. Like, well, what, what? as I said, you you need to have you, something has to bother you. You know, something you, you cannot be comfy. If you're comfortable while uh, like uh, um, scrolling, and if you're comf- comfortable in every aspect of your life, then you're not going to do anything. If you have something in you that tells you, "Fuck, why am I not making ten thousand dollars every month? Why am I scrolling this?" and you're still scrolling. At some point, you're gonna drop that and you're gonna go to work. At some point, but you, you need to you you just need to have an ambition. You need to you need to need something in your life. You need to want something in your life. You know, um, and I think this is like the only way that people are gonna do anything. You know, so people, you know, for example, pe- people go. I know like a lot of guys that go to the gym, and they're going to the gym. They're in the gym for like I don't know, two years, and they look exactly the same. And you nothing know, changed. yeah, and nothing changed, you know, and just you know, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing wrong? You know, I'm just yeah. asking myself. But then I get the answers. They're not doing anything. They're just going to the gym and everything, and they leave. You know, they just go to the gym and that's it. Nothing else. Yeah. And then just, just know, for the fact they yeah, just for the fact that they go to the gym not, not to work there. Uh, I just I don't. I don't do I don't you think it. it's better to delete TikTok or to learn maybe how to control? this addicting algorithm or the desire to to scroll well it's it again it depends on the person of on how strong you are if you see that you cannot get off tiktok just delete it if you think you are strong enough to you know persist then persist because it. i personally i'm i'm strong enough to quit it uh or to not be 10 hours a day on tiktok i am strong enough to do that but i don't even like that i spent an hour mm-hmm. a day on tiktok i don't even like that and when I like, oh, let me just watch three vids, and then it three vids become an hour. Yeah, truthfully, I only watch like, I only watch TikTok maybe before bed, ten minutes, or when I'm on the toilet. Okay. <laughs> the only, okay, the only okay. two places where I watch okay. TikTok. So you, you don't have a big problem with the addicting algorithm? Because I know what I have to do. So I don't know if I if I really don't have anything else like smarter, like you know, more important to do. I don't know. I eat lunch, and then I have like two hours of free time. And then if I really don't have anything to do, I know I just play games or I watch TikTok. And then okay. after, okay, I have to eat. Turn off, you know, turn off the TikTok. I you do that instantly. Like you have to eat. Yeah, uh, as soon okay. as I'm hungry, okay. Done. Because I don't fuck, care about that. It. Like TikTok is gonna give me maybe okay. okay, unless I don't know I do I make videos for TikTok. TikTok is not gonna give me by watching TikTok, I'm not gonna get money, I'm not gonna be a better Mr. Olympia, I'm not gonna get quicker there, I'm not gonna get anything. Okay. So this is like the only the yeah. only thing that I need. Okay, okay. Does it help me? No. Get the fuck out. But <laughs> yeah, but my yeah, I, I totally agree with everything you said right now. But I have a problem with TikTok because it's it's designed to be so addictive. Yeah. Because attention is money. So if yeah. if the companies and corporation get your gets your attention, like your they, they monetize mm-hmm. you, your attention. So you're monetized just by like people think, oh, I'm using Facebook. It's free. It's fun. It's it's not free. You're a product. Mm. Yeah, basically. They, they they sell you things. You're the reason they are rich. Mm. So, it's I think it's a really fucked up way, and I don't even know it's if good to have these applications because they they are not bringing. Like if you're doing TikTok for a career, like sure, like obvious, but uh, if you don't gain anything from like. These uh, the, yeah, I agree. It's stupid. It's, it's, it's so stupid. Just do do anything else. Like go to sleep. It will be better. <laughs> yeah, get more yeah, rest, yeah, like. It actually will be. Yeah, sure. So yeah. I think it's re- really stupid. And if you can't like control, yeah, TikTok the use... is really. You know, so I I know a lot of people that don't watch TikTok because it's yeah, it's just I guess it's yeah, a it's... cancer wave of uh, yeah. uh, spending your time. Yeah, it's not really the best way of spending your time. Yeah, and I must say I'm happy because. I don't have these distractions, these distractions to even like uh, mm. distract me. Uh, when I'm strong mentally, yeah. Maybe at the start of the day, I, I don't, I don't do TikTok. But maybe like after uh, working for five hours doing a, a training session, you get tired. And when you're tired, you're more like vulnerable, more, more like. Mm. And when you open a TikTok, lay down, 
Oh, it's so nice to to relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. spend three hours on a fucking TikTok. You, you could have done much more than that. Yeah, you know. I know. Sure, but you know, it's just you know. I guess you know it's not good, but you know the more people, the more uh, more people that do that, uh, the more, for example, you and me, the more we stand out. You know, for example, the yeah. more people that don't do anything and they you know just want to be average and you know just want to you know be like everybody else, dress like everybody, you know, think talk like, like them, think like everybody. Yeah, sure. Go. Well, okay. I'm not gonna stop you because yeah. I'm gonna look so much better, than, you know, than in everybody. The long run. Yeah, in the long run, I'm gonna look so much better. Yeah, you know? yeah. People, people are gonna be. Oh, he's Mr. Olympia. Oh my God, he won that. How? Like, oh, he's I don't know, he he uh, he's an alien. No, I'm just a guy who had an ambition and who didn't waste time. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's fact. That's fact. But in I don't know. I have this uh, desire inside of me. That I want to help people because I don't know. I maybe uh, Andrew Tate or Gary V mm -hmm. and these creators. When I I see them, they help me mentally. Mm -hmm. They they. they There are stating points that that help me. Yeah, because uh, for example, Andrew Tate speaks facts, you know, and everything yeah. that he says basically. And maybe maybe, same maybe not maybe me. not everything about the women or everything, but uh, for but example, most of the things. Yeah, most of the things he he says about like business and about money yeah. and about dedication is true. But and people that don't like him are yeah. the people that don't do anything. Yeah, I basically, they're like. I haven't seen a single person that is uh, like invested in something and that is successful that uh, says that he's wrong because he's not wrong. Yeah. He's not wrong. Yeah, He's but, but the thing is, uh, I, this is the desire I want to do, um, because he, they affect me, so they surely affect more, more mm -hmm. people around the world. And if they are changing, like people's minds to be better and to to work hard and to 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 succeed in life, mm -hmm. just by creating videos and posting them on on this addictive, fucking uh, app, social yeah. apps. Like, wh why sh shouldn't I use like YouTube to to help people to be like happier, healthier, fitter, yeah, well, of course, everything in life? Yeah, I think this is like, like you said also, you want to create TikToks and motivate mm -hmm. people to train and like be better looking. Yeah, I think this is a, a good thing. This is a using these addictive apps and algorithms to help yeah to help people yeah. yeah but it's you know it's it's different you know for example you know some girl does it for views and for money and you know she just she just swings her butt around and oh 10 million views yeah, you know yeah. while i'm out here you know trying to motivate people and trying to you know tell them that uh you know you, you need to have dedication you need to you know do something in your life just do something anything you know that you like you just need to do that and do that every day mm -hmm. and focus on that you know It just doesn't get many views because the re reality is hard. You know, everyone can be, yeah. you know, up in the clouds and, you know, oh, it's so nice. I'm scrolling yeah. on TikTok. Oh, my life is so nice. When yeah. they hit 26 years old, <laughs> job, yeah. money. Oh, oh my I friends have, have that. Bills. Oh, I have to pay that. Oh, I have to do well. I'm not going to miss it. I don't have the wife I want. Uh, of course. I have to have a kid soon, but, but then my life late. is fucked. Then it's too late. If, yeah. you're, if you're 25 and you think you're going to start something, Maybe if you have a business, if you have if you have some business idea, yeah. sure. But other than that, you're yeah. But late. even even the character of those people, if you're if you wasted 10 years from 15 to 25, if you wasted 10 years, I don't think you're gonna pick up at 25. I don't think. Yeah, don't there's think no way happen. because you're not doing anything. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah. Maybe if you really have, you know, if you really, if you're like really smart and like really trying to enjoy, I don't know, for as much as you can while you're young, and then at 25 you uh unleash some idea from 10 years ago sure but like these are anomalies you know these are people yeah. one in like 10,000 people maybe you know yeah, yeah for the most people it's not gonna be like that for the most people they're gonna party from 15 to 25 and then from 25 to fucking 70 they're gonna work yeah this is this is not the life i personally yeah, want to live no, no me neither but you know for example you know for the mo most people would do it you know yeah and they will say oh i don't have the genetics oh i don't have that oh i don't have support i don't have anything my father told me in my face that i'm a jerk that i'm a fucking idiot that i'm uh the, with bodybuilding i'm never gonna achieve anything well here i am with, with 18 years old uh i could have four sponsorships i only have one uh but four companies actually reached out to me and told me that you know if i could be their athlete But I decided. A, yeah, sure. Turn them down. And I have at 18, I have a sponsorship. I only achieved a shit ton of shit. You know, I actually achieved. I was the se I was uh, hmm, the second best guitarist at an uh, European Championship. Okay. Um, 
I was uh, at my time when I was still professional in uh, when I was still gaming, you know, professional. Yeah. I was number one in Europe in uh, gaming. You know, I made you know quite a lot of money on that. You know, four figures. I'm not gonna say any numbers, but four figures more than you know more than two thousand. I'm just gonna yeah, say yeah. that. Um, a lot more than the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I basically, I basically achieved a lot of things, right? And I'm now I'm 18 and I have so much experience, so much everything. You know, I trained. Yeah. I I played in the first Slovenian league for two years football. Um, I was I think, in the first league. Yeah, in the first league. Yeah, with Copper. Um, I was uh, one of okay. So for gym gymnastics, I don't remember actually, but for track and field, I was like I don't know sixth or seventh, I think, in a country in one year of training. I know I achieved you know kind of a lot of yeah. things. I know how to be a hardcore athlete. I know how to, I know how to work. Yeah, time. yeah. And you know, I would never say I have you know. I, I would never say I had I don't know good genetics, genetics for gaming. But I made something out of myself. You know, yeah, I made yeah. some money. You know, I would never say even when I started. Hard work beats I would everything. Even, even when I started, I would never say you know. Oh, uh, I don't have genetics for uh, bodybuilding because. Uh, I can show you a picture. I was really, really skinny. Nobody would say that I have genetics for bodybuilding. Nobody, not a single guy would say, "Oh, maybe you're gonna be Mr. Olympia." Nah, no, man. nobody. You, Even you, you can never it. know. You can never know. Yeah. And people, you know, look at themselves. Oh, I look like shit. Then he goes to the gym, he trains, you know, 10 reps from failure. He doesn't even basically train. He just kind of lifts weights and that's it. Yeah. How do you expect results if you don't do anything 100%? Mm -hmm. And the 100% means basically tears, crying, screaming, just everything. You know, I have a friend. His name is Christian Lazar. He is also competing in bodybuilding. He recently won a show in Italia okay. in men's physique. Okay. And me and him were basically two. We're like, um, he's a really good friend of mine. And we're two guys that really, really love hardcore training. And when we train, we basically scream, we fucking cuss at each other, you know, we say fuck you because it hurts so much. It's, you know, we're basically crying. I know I went two times to the toilet to throw up in the middle of the leg day, two times to throw up because it was so hardcore. While people out here are training and not doing anything in the gym, you know, they're just yeah. like, oh. Oh, my, my muscle hurts, but yeah, it should hurt. You know, it should hurt. You should basically cry because it's so bad. Yeah, yeah. The pain is so bad, you should basically cry. And when you do this, when you do, uh, when you eat the right way, when you don't really drink alcohol, when you don't do stupid things, then results will come. If you don't yeah. do this, sorry, you're going to be a nobody. They want nobody's the results without yeah. the hard work. Yeah, they want the results without the hard work. Yeah. You're going to be a nobody. Nobody's going to know your name. Nobody's going to know who you are. You're going to end up dying with, I don't know, a thousand people knowing who you are. Yeah. Pretty, you need to work set, hard yeah. to achieve your dreams. If you don't work yeah. hard, you're never going to be anybody. I like this, never. this Instagram story you posted. Like, I started working at 15 mm -hmm. and at 25, like, I'm going to reach my peak and achieve a lot of things by that age. Yeah. Of course. Well, people start at twenty five. Some people start at twenty five. Most energy. Yeah, of in course. That period when yeah. you're younger. I want to be. I want to achieve by by the time when I'm thirty. I also. I already want to be a Mr. Olympia. I want to have a lot of sponsors. I want to have my own company. Uh, I want to start my clothing line. You know, I just want to do a lot of things until yeah, then. Yeah. I'm not gonna start at twenty five and be like a fucking idiot working at some fucking store and just oh. Yeah, yeah. But oh, you know, maybe if I go in crypto, maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that, yeah, nah, bro. You, just, yeah. you need to have really. There's no goals. easy way. Yeah, there's no easy way. There's yeah. no easy. Way. There's no easy magic pill. Mm -hmm. No way. Um. Oh, fuck! I wanted to ask something. Uh. Yeah, I wanted to ask you if you like work. Uh, at like you said, mm -hmm. till twenty five, and you reach your peak, and just continue the grind after that. But like, if you maybe don't know in which, in which uh, direction you want to like. Yeah. go and put 100 percent how do you find that yeah but you, you you're not gonna find it by going to the, the to, to the parties uh, nah, drinking, yeah, exactly uh, of spending time with lame people with no ambitions yes yes yes, yes, yes. like okay you have free time you don't know what you want to do but you're not gonna find that with doing fucking nothing or, or hanging with lame people yeah. uh, drinking alcohol yeah, yeah, in the course. middle like a fucking uh uh, men without home, I don't know. To help yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeless, 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 homeless man. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, it's it's basically a matter of you know what do you like, what do you what do you want to do in life, what is the thing that you know you would wake up every day and uh, do basically. Yeah. So, what is the thing that you would do even if you would get zero money for that? Well, if you find yeah. this, 
you just have to, you know, like, be... what's your passion? What, yeah, what, what's like... your passion? Yeah. Uh, for example, I don't know if it's for you, it's streaming. Just do streaming. Just do, you yeah. know, be as good of a streamer you can be. Be yeah. as, you know, be as uh, active as you can. Be as, you know, as uh, um, as up to, you know, the trends as you can. You know, everything. You just need to be invested in this. You know, you need to um, show your viewers, for example, you know, that you care about them. That you know everything. Um, in everything is the same, you know, in the sports is the same, in business, you know, views is the same, everything is the same. You just need to be a hundred percent and just find every find something that you really want to do every day. Yeah. Find something. And That's... and we are living in a time when you only need a phone. Yeah, you just need to, phone. to pursue your like passion. Yeah. You don't need nothing, like you don't you don't have to have a million dollars to start, I don't know, uh to start a, a brand with a gym mm-hmm. uh, training you don't have you you can create tiktok and do fucking videos that takes i don't know an hour two hours a day mm-hmm. and you, you can fucking do that if you, i say um, like another passion maybe i don't know if yeah if i like this glass and and i, I really like how it's built and I, I like to but i have an idea to create a better glass I, I can start with something i can maybe i don't know find people that that care about glasses on social media, connect with them, share ideas, uh, maybe find a business partner. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But yeah, there's a lot of like things. Like work a side hustle and then use that money to, you yeah, know, to, do something. To, yeah, of course. To invest in your yeah. business. And I don't know why people are so, yeah, I want this, but I don't have a resource. It's, 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 it's the society. Chooser. It will never change. It will always yeah. be the same. Yeah, even, yeah. even if we, you know, debate as much as we want, it will always... Um, there was like a saying, misery will always have company. Yeah. Misery will always have company. You know, the people that don't do anything will always have company. You know, the people at the top, you know, there's a big difference, you know. Miser- there's so much people that, do, that don't do anything in life, you know. There's so much people that it's like almost funny, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, no Majority matter, people. I think, yeah, but you know, for me, it's okay. I mean, sure. It, it, less competition. Yeah. If, yeah. Less competition, of course. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it's sure. easy as that. For me, it's easy. Me personally, I don't know why I have this thing in my head. Uh, I don't want to use the bus. The bus? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a license. I can drive. I have to pay for fuel. It will be more efficient for me to use a bus yeah. financially. It will be smarter. But I don't like, me personally, I don't like the way I feel on the bus. Oh. I'm like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not against any of the mm. person like they're financially... They pay, I don't know, 10 euros for the bus and they drive. Mm-hmm. I, I drove with the bus, at the mm-hmm. school to everything. But right now, when I have my car and I have a license, like, on the bus, it makes me feel like... Uh, You're not in control, of course, yeah. Yeah, and I'm... Uh, I have to be at the bus station at that time, otherwise the bus will go because they don't give a single fuck about me yeah yeah sure yeah, yeah. they don't give a fuck they have a route they just drive if you run you run and if you're not you're not like yeah you're not controlling your life yeah of yeah. Course. yeah but my car i can sit whenever i want i pay the, the gas and everything yeah, you're... i can drive wherever i want whenever i yeah, want yeah you're responsible yeah. you know you you're kind of uh you know you you, you can live on your own you yeah don't yeah, any, yeah you don't need anybody you said else about yeah. control i have control over it like wow, mesquine holy it's a lot of money Smokey, I want to be like Leo. I want to be like Leo. Ah, oh, and donated five euros. Let's go. Thank you, Smokey, for donating. Let's go. Archie, yo, what's up? Let's say hi to the chat. Sorry for not reading for too long. Roll smoke little green herb and have fun. Yeah, I I agree. Weed is really good. (laughs) Weed is good. Weed is good. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I said, ask me anything, anything you need. A toilet is first door is the small toilet, and oh. the left is bigger toilet. Yeah, but she might have to Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Love you both. Smokey, love you too. Thank you for donating five euros. Oh, I'm a, I, I, I have this shirt that is pretty tight, and I got like it's. I have an air conditioner and everything, but I'm still fucking hot. I, I hope you can see that I'm sweaty. <laughs> Otherwise, if you see, I'm going to change my shirt. But yeah, it's a little hot. But no biggie, no biggie. I don't know how many likes we have. I don't know anything. I'm streaming for, 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 for Copper. So I have no idea how, how, how many likes we have. Uh, for, 46 likes. Thank you for liking. Make sure to like us get to 50. Make sure to sub if you like the content. 
Uh, and yeah, I, I appreciate you guys. You hot. You are hot, Smoky. <laughs> Holy smoly, chat. This is the kind of different st stream. And I, I really like it. I, I really like because I can share my opinion and sit next to Leo, which is also a mot motivated and disciplined guy. And I really like that we talk about like real situations that are like um that are good for younger generation generations or same as us to hear maybe we open your mind a little bit or something this is i think this is a good thing this is i think this is a good thing nice lighting by the way <laughs> <laughs> nice mirror <laughs> i really got that. you flexed yeah of course <laughs> in front of every mirror <laughs> oh my oh. god you know, I did a stream when I did push-ups, yeah. and I got fucking bent for having... I yeah, I saw have it, my I shirt saw it, I saw it. <laughs> What the fuck? And I see people, I don't know if you know, I show speed. Mm? The guy I show speed, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. He's without shirt, every yeah. stream. And he's showing his pants and touching his... I don't know what, and I'm not gonna say what, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's making more money than me, like, to YouTube. Yeah. Because of the yeah, LPS 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 donations, the like... I know that, but I am getting banned for doing push-ups. What the fuck? Yeah, it's just usual. It was kind of silly. Um, okay. Uh, what do you think about Instagram? Does watching stories and posts affect your self-confidence and uniqueness? Um, if you like, simple, if you compare yourself to others and if oh, you... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, if if they if it affects your mind if you if you see someone if I try to be like them like yeah if someone like is recording like eating good food enjoying being like happy I, I guess but they're not really happy in the but yeah does it affect your like mental state? No, I just I have Instagram I have Instagram to help other people and to try to motivate them and uh, you know I follow you know some people that you know I kind of you know want to see their progress I guess you know. Kind of idols, or, maybe? I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure, I follow some idols, yeah, okay. But, uh, you know, I basically follow people who I know because, you know, they follow me, I follow them. Okay, them. okay simple as that. Um, no, okay, deeper meaning. Yeah, so no deeper meaning. It's just really simple. For me, Instagram is just a platform where, you know, you kind of maybe see, I don't know, other other people's progress and you kind of see what other people want you to see. Okay. So I'm not really, you know, I'm I'm really open to, you know, everything. So, for example, I'm not stressing over, you know, some guy looking insane photos because I saw this guy in life, in like in real life, and he looks like shit. Okay. For example, you know. Cat fishing. Yeah. I know, actually, I've, you know, I know some guys that, you know, on Instagram, they look like really good. In real life, they're just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Not good, you know. Same as woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same as woman. They maybe look like the... the, the... Top model Kim Kardashian, yep. Kylie Jenner thing. In the real life, you're like questioning what's yes. the reality, a little bit. That's true. But same as guys, it's not different with guys. Yeah, like, as you different. said, it's not different. Guys, girls, they want to look in the Instagram as best as possible. Yes, they're maybe faking it, photoshopping it, and everything. But in real life, you know who's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's the boss. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> what advice do you have for younger generations who are lacking discipline and are spending too much time on social media like not like just how how would you generally want to help the 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 the, the, the i don't know our generations like imagine someone's home watching this stream yeah, I we need to we need them to realize that you know not doing I'm just going to change Yeah, it. sure. So we need you to realize that uh, not doing anything in life and basically uh, uh, not having a goal is not cool. You know, you're not cool because you drink alcohol. You're not cool because you smoke uh, cigars. You're not cool because you smoke weed. You know, cool is like nobody cares about who's cool. Okay, everyone cares about. So, for example, why do you guys have idols? We all have idols, right? So we all have people who you know, um, people who we idolize. But you know, then I'm asking myself. So, if your idol is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and you're not, and you're not even living in the like same lifestyle, you're not training, you're not acting, you're not doing anything. Why is he your idol? 
if you if you're not doing anything like him why we need you to realize that being cool is okay in third grade fourth grade fifth grade sixth seventh eighth maybe ninth grade and middle school is the time for you to find your passion and it's a time for you to realize that life is not simple right in life if you're not the best nobody cares about you in life if you if, if you don't stand out nobody gives a shit about you okay so it's it's really simple if you're gonna be i don't know the best in your town nobody's gonna fucking care about you okay everyone's gonna know what i mean why do people know messi why do people idolize ronaldo why do people idolize you know um different like uh sportsmen you know guys why because they're the best you, you don't idolize some guy who's fucking 200 nah you just want the best. See, everyone wants to be the best, right? Because if you could be the best, would you be or wouldn't you be? Of course you would be the best. It's really simple. It's as simple as that. So that's probably like the only thing that, you know, um, that I want to share with everybody. Um, because, you know, it's just not a lot of guys that do this. You know, it's not a lot of guys that or girls that, you know, um, that really care about their image and about how people um i guess how people um see them and this can be a good and a bad thing right so if you care about how people see you um it can be a really bad thing because you're going to be depressed because i don't know if some people if you think people see you like you're an idiot you're going to be depressed but i look at it as for example if people see me as you know oh my god leo is 18 years old I want to be like him, you know, he, he achieved something. If they realize what I achieved, if they realize that my mindset is probably the right mindset for success, then it's good. And I want people to see me in this way, right? I don't want people to see me in like a way, I don't know, for example, oh, this is just an arrogant dude, you know, who achieved something, who has good genetics, who, who's just, I don't know, trying to bring you down. I'm not, I'm not trying to bring you down. I'm trying to... um make you realize that life is really, really, really hard. You know, you only have one life. Don't waste it. Find your potential and just do, ev do this every single day for as much as you can and try to be the best as you can. That's the only message. I heard everything, so I hope, I don't know, maybe even one of you take the advice and Try to do something different if you're not happy with your current situation or something. I don't know. We are still young. We are trying. So maybe you can use the, the advice or just, I don't know, <laughs> this year in. Forget it. It's out. your choice. Yeah. But don't come crying 20 years later. That's the yeah. only thing. Don't come crying when 20 we, years when later. When we live. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are your plans for the future? Where do you see yourself in a 10 year range, range, 20 year range, and 30 year range? Okay. Well, it's simple. Uh, 10 year range, it's uh, try to be as, as good of a bodybuilder as I can, try to win the Mr. Olympia, um, and try to kind of stabilize and, you know, live on my own with my girlfriend. Uh, 20 year range, probably already have kids. Um, you know, try to raise them as best as I can, you know, try to give them a good life and try to develop, like, my business, my own business. And uh, then, th uh, what did we say, 30? Okay. Yeah, third year. It's probably grow my business and, uh, you know, just kind of live, you know, a normal, like, normal, you know, a, for me, normal life. You yeah, know, okay. And just kind so of stabilize everything. You will you still know. train? Yeah, of course. For... Until, I will train until the day. Okay. Probably. Okay. So th this is your routine yeah. till the end of the day. So you, yes. you will not change a, a bit. Okay. Um, do you feel like every, like all of these things you just said, you will 100% accomplish? Do you truly believe in... in... I must. I have, to, I have to believe it. Okay. I have to believe it. You have to believe it. You, have to, it. you have to believe it when you cannot see it. And... Uh, um this is like one of the main things you have to believe it when you cannot see it. so when nobody believes in you you have to believe in yourself and when you cannot see you know when you cannot see your vision when you cannot see the potential you must believe in yourself and you must see it nobody else will tell you no anything 
Yeah. You must believe it. And I already said, you know, if I uh, if I achieve, you know, if I achieve uh, what I um, wanted to achieve, I'm gonna be really happy. If I'm not going to achieve, I'm gonna be damn sure I gave a thousand percent to achieve it, and I'm also gonna be happy. Okay. So, so either way, I'm gonna be, you know, e- you give e- your all and yeah, e- either I'm happens. gonna be a Mr. Olympia and live a, and then uh, like live a life of a personal trainer and you know have my own business and everything and an influencer. Or I'm not going to be a Mr. Olympia and I'm going to be everything. Okay. Other, you know. So do you think achieving Mr. Olympia is a big milestone in like your life? And it, if you achieve it, it will like positively. Yeah, it will life. be. The, it is going to be a pinnacle of my life probably. It's a, achieving that title is so important that uh, it gives you... I don't know. Yeah, because Bones then uh... yeah, 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 sure, but not not because of that. It's because everything, every all the pain that I went through, and every like everything, all the like naysayers, you know, everyone that was telling me, uh, "You cannot do it." I was basically alone from for most of my journey, and I really had to believe in myself. Nobody believed in me. I had to believe in myself, and when I will, I hope when I will win Mister Olympia, I will know that. I was, you know, I just came here by myself. Uh, I won Mr. Olympia. Nobody else helped me. I won Mr. Olympia and I believed in myself and I knew it and everyone else was wrong. I was right and everyone else was wrong. And this is just, it's so overwhelming for me, right? Because when you finally do it, it's so, ah, I did it. I did it. I proved everyone wrong. I went against everybody. I went against the tide. I went against, I don't know, my feelings. I went against everyone. You know, everything. Because I could, you know, I could just go out and party and have fun. But why? I have a vision. I want to do this. I want to be the best. And when this comes true, I can die. (laughs) Do you want to uh, win only one title or more? More than Chris. (laughs) How many does he have? Three. For now, three. Do you think he will win more? Uh, this year it's gonna be really close. This year is gonna Wait, be really, really who's close. Who's his main competitor? Uh, it's probably uh, oh, it's three competitors. They're, they're like really close. Ur- Urs Kalcinski, German guy. Ramon Dino, Brazilian guy, and uh, and uh, Ter- Terence Ruffin, American guy. Okay. So, what was his uh, strong points against those guys? Oh, his uh, his stature. He's like really tall. You know, he looks really big. His back and his legs are just crazy. crazy. crazy his developed. arms are not really good, kind of bad, but everything else is just crazy. But mostly uh, like he, outstanding. Crazy. Yeah, mostly outstanding. Mostly Above his, average. Yeah, of course. Mostly his back and uh, his quad, uh, uh, legs. Okay. His back is just so huge. Oh my God. His back is so wide yeah. and so huge. Yeah. And his shoulders also and his everything is just God dang. Just the same. Crazy dude. Uh, if Arnold Arnold would be in this his days? prime now, competed with Sibam, who would take it? Sibam. Sibam. Yeah. But maybe if Ar- Arnold trained differently and used if the Arnold technologies of from modern now, time. Best ever. Best. If Arnold, Above had, all. If Arnold had our, uh, like the new age uh, gyms, then our, our type of training... And uh, this technology for the, like the new steroids and everything, the best in the best of all time. All time, better than Ronnie Common, for sure. No comparison. No comparison. That good. He, he was that good. Yeah, he had like he had basically he basically had like I don't know maybe ten percent of what Ronnie had, right? Or maybe twenty percent of what Ronnie had. It's amazing what he could achieve with uh, as much knowledge as today you know, technologies yeah. and studies. I think he will win the Mr. Olympia. Sure. Open. Easy. His chest was so good. His chest was so much better than everything we've ever seen that, you know, it's... Yeah, his, his chest was crazy. Yeah. His legs were a bit undersized, but that's what because... Is... His legs were oh, a bit okay. undersized, but that's, you know, that's because of just the way, you know, bodybuilding was back then. I okay. think if he would be... If he, if he would be now... Easy. No competition. Yeah. First place, like, easy. 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 For, for no, me, no, easy. no question. Yeah, okay, maybe no, maybe with Ronnie Coleman he would it would be a bit close because Ronnie is of course also insane. But I think if we're talking about now, 2022 easy. If we're talking 2000s, 2000, maybe 19 from 1995 to 2006 or 8, it would be close. 
but from 2008 on easy easy okay okay um <clears throat> okay i have the question about ender tate and what do you think about his mindset and his views on the world straight w Straight W. Straight W. Come on, Tate W. <laughs> Come on, Tate w. <laughs> just everything about him is just, you know, maybe, okay, maybe some things are not good because, you know, he speaks, I don't know, uh, he talks about, like, you know, women being, uh, um, women being, uh, the, uh, yeah, women I being basically, I mean, uh, women being objects, basically, and, yeah. uh, well, uh, controlled being, controlled by you know, men. Yeah, controlled by men, that's not okay because, you know, we have equal rights um so you know we should be equal yeah but you know a lot of the things you know that he talks about even like in relationships and everything is just true and you know, even and in about mindset real life, and, uh, yeah real life it's true you, you cannot argue it you know? yeah if you argue against him their arguments are probably going to be stupid but he's very intelligent speaker i don't know very, if, very intelligent. if you watch yeah he, he reads a lot of books and everything he's really, really he's you know, fucking crazy like uh when people like go um against him yeah. against him yeah like his answers he shuts them down yeah. yeah of course easy like cold-blooded murder like no it's just <laughs> in it's chat just... tw yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> okay chat spam tw in the <laughs> what color is your bugatti <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's the only you know what what size is your bicep of course yeah <laughs> small thought so <laughs> no but komalo's biceps are big oh very big no, I have tattoos because I have small arms. I need to have tattoos to look gangster. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you know how many tattoos do you got, do I have? But I made like a few, three new ones. So this is one, the Spartan head, which represents the the deep the discipline. And below that is my father's like birth, uh, birth year. Uh, so this is uh, like a memory of him. I mean, he's alive, but it. So it reminds me every day to I be fucking thought, bro. I fuck. Oh really? God. Yeah. No, no. He, he's he's all good. Uh, this is just like I have a, a year for my mother. Oh yeah. So yeah. I want to be fair. Yeah, yeah. And give him a tattoo as well for me, not for him. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Like he will kill me. Uh, he doesn't know. Uh, yeah, I I told them, but I don't know their reaction because they're in uh, Montenegro. Oh, oh yeah, okay, okay. So yeah, but I, I want I want to see like this, and I want to see him fucking discipline and balance. Look at this dude. Okay, pizza, pizza, bro. Uh, no, uh, my two friends in the chat. Pizza oh. or kebab? Uh, <laughs> pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Good pizza over. Kebab. Yeah. Kebab is fast food. Yeah. Pizza can be done like high end food. Yeah. Basically. Oh no. I just read something uh, in chat that I didn't want to read. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, is it time is an inside joke. It's I don't wanna yeah. I don't wanna do it. Which one? Is it time? I mean the the last one. Is it time? It's oh, a, it's oh, an yeah, it's an it's an inside joke. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. Okay, you understand it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I don't wanna do it. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about Tate. Uh, like a relationship mindset mm -hmm. i i think the world is so fucked that the the roles of a man and woman are yeah, so fucked yeah so fucked that's <laughs> bullshit because and i think that that tate stating the the statement so extreme maybe bring the 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 the, um, the grab yeah, grab okay, the balance should be you know. a, a little back on the normal no, yeah, not yeah. even extreme but on normal because the roles are so fucked up like yeah, he talked we, about we, a lot of situations yeah. and scenarios, like women and men. Like, yeah, if you're with your wife and you have like children with mm -hmm, her, mm -hmm. and someone breaks into your heart, house, like I'm going down naked if I have to. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, sure, fucking yeah. care. I'm not. Yeah, of course. And if, if, I, if you go, even if you like, if you if you like really uh, think about like the, the like just the basic primal situations. We, women, you know, so we we hunt, we hunted uh, animals, you know, we brought yeah. food to the home, you know, we explored, yeah. and they. So what we explored, what we found out, they made a home, right? Yeah, yeah. So they kind of made it, you know, just basically. So that's yeah, our they, roles. They, they yeah. uh, give birth. That's why we're physically stronger. I mean, yeah. sure, if you want to do all the work, I can be at home and I can cook, I can clean, I can yeah. do everything. But you have to pay everything for me, yeah, yeah. and you have to, as we do. 
But yeah. I don't have a problem with it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with anything, right? Yeah. Um, they have a problem, right? So, uh, yeah. you know. Well, I, I think a lot of guys are kind of pussies too, if yeah. I'm being honest. They are yeah, like, yeah, but yeah, they are yeah. not working hard. They are not training. They are not. But there is then there's also girls that are not, you know. That, yeah, yeah. You know as well, yeah. But I don't want like to be like we guys are perfect. We do everything right. Nah. It's not true, but I think like the 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 equality of women and men is it's going it's into fucking yeah. The extremes, equality like, the equality was like justified when they didn't have as much rights as we do but now mm. that they have as much rights what equality do you want like where is where is the inequality yeah, yeah. do you want to do why is there work yeah uh, no no why is there 98 percent why is there 98 percent of bl- bricklayers or like uh men uh yeah men, men yeah we want equality well, sure yeah. go ahead but do I, the work i don't want her to build me a house because i know it's not gonna be really <laughs> yeah good. it's gonna be shit yeah it's gonna be shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know but there's no way uh there's no way they are moving fucking stones nah no way no, way. no there's no way like yeah maybe there's like, exceptions and then they but fight in general all, yeah but then there's also the argument oh they fight oh uh men are like in charge men are you know but we built this world. We built every single building that yeah. you see, every single car that you drive, every single phone that you use. We built everything. We yeah, invented yeah. everything. Yeah. Electricity was invented by men. Every single uh, known yeah. inventor in the history was ma- man. was a man. In in sorry ninety nine percent. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's you know it's it's a fact. Yeah, because the woman's role in that in this scenario was different, was of course, to, to to raise children. Yeah, of course, to take care of the the home. And it's also the same. Argument. We I don't think we could raise the children as good as yeah, they could. No way. I don't think no we way. could raise the children the same. We are not emotional. Yeah, of course, we're not emotional as them. Like the they girl, raise the, children, yeah. and they they do their things because they have uh, yeah. feelings. Because they more do, than us. they do their things way better than we do yeah, their yeah. things. But yeah. that's why we have different roles. And yeah. if you mix that up it's you know we we were yeah. that's why the children like 13 12 years old are so fucked up right now yeah this is why yeah because this is modern why. uh yeah role shift this yeah of course and, and this is why there's like 16 genders and you know everything yeah, is like, like fuck bro that, like, fuck that shit oh we're gonna get demonetized yeah. <laughs> probably uh, mm. never mind uh, yeah but mm. but this is, is the, i don't know i believe this is the true like if you're you're born man, you're man. If you're born woman, you're woman. Yeah. Like, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> what nah, you if want? you're a man, you're a man. If you're a woman, you're a woman. Yeah, that's that's it. You know, for example, my grandfather said, you know, I showed him like a video of like a girl that is I don't know she no she her uh, they them or something I don't know how it yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said that in his his time they would shoot them. Yeah, they will shoot them. They will yeah. kill them. But they're, he's no joking. Yeah, he's telling the truth. <laughs> it's Reina. Yo, what's up? How are you doing? How are you oh, doing? Shit. Welcome on the stream. Hey girl. Um. Is she girl? <laughs> yeah. I think we gotta stop the debate now. <laughs> I think we gotta stop the debate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I'm. I'm. I let the girl everything. Uh, I. I'm listening to her. Oh. I don't yeah. have. Yeah. My, yeah, I, don't yeah, have yeah. I don't have. I don't have an opinion. Yeah. She yeah. says. Lick the floor, yeah. Yeah, sure. Licking everything. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe in the man being the, 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 in charge of the family. Yeah, sure. Of course. I mean, it's the only right thing. The, the, the ship has the captain? Yeah. It's <laughs> a <laughs> <The> captain. <laughs> shepherd. Shepherd? Yeah, shepherd. What? The, in, no. The sheep has a shepherd. Shepherd is the, uh, what is it? Uh, the, um, the dog who like kind of uh, tells them where to go. Yeah. But, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> doing fine. It's okay. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Kind kind of deb- debating the 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 our daddy Andrew Tate <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Chat, uh, please ask us about about anything. If you want to ask us about Andrew Tate, yeah, because we 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 ran we ran out of questions. <laughs> yeah, I asked him everything I had listed. Uh, I think, I think he did a a great yeah, job. Two hours already. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good thing. So if you have any questions, tell us. If you if you have to go and tell me, yeah, it's uh, probably you... gonna be soon. Yeah, right now. Uh, okay, just ask. I'm gonna. Okay, just ask. 
I forgot to ask you before mm-hmm. the stream how much time do you have? Uh, I would just I, I wanted to get through the questions, but feel free to tell me if you if you want to leave now, leave. If you have to, I mean. If you have some questions, ask us. I think we're uh closing slowly, so ask us about Andrew Tate, anything you like you want us to debate a little bit, if we have a little bit more time. But yeah. I think Tate's man- mindset is really like old, old fashioned, traditional, and it's he explain he explains it with the extremes, but only that way he will bring maybe the the, the graph to to closer to to the zero, uh, because right now we are at minus ten and everything is going in the wrong wrong direction. So, uh, how many hours do you tr- train per week? Uh, hours per week, uh, well, it's hard to answer because my split is 3-1-3-1, three, one, three, one. so I train three days, uh, one day rest. Three days train, one day rest. Okay, let's say one cycle. But on average, one cycle, one cycle it's, uh, let's say, 12 hours. 12. Yeah, so, so two hours every training, for okay, example. Yeah, right? average, the, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So t- 12, 12 hours, one cycle, two hours per workout me personally uh, i'm not training that much i'm not trying to uh, i will train i want to train but uh personally I, I train i think four workouts per week for one hour one hour one hour and a half something like that you can see it his shoulders why does why does uh yeah but, but i was sick for last two weeks and i didn't do anything if I would uh, be healthy, we would hit the gym and... Yeah, 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 no, I know. You would see something. Yeah, yeah. I, I, right now, I'm a fucking jelly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm scared to, to train because I, I don't want to, like, be sick again. So, I... Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I no, want no, to I, wait a little bit yeah, till yeah. I feel like, really... This dog is crazy. Like, the, I, What do you train? Body sense copper. Me in a basement of the house. <laughs> with two dumbbells and an elastic. Uh, it's oh, honestly. Yeah, so I'm starting. In... Hmm? I'm okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, so chat. I think this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, and yeah, I think we're signing off. So. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Thanks for watching us, and uh, you know, see you yeah, soon. I guess you have an Instagram of the Leo. I, I don't know. I did, he didn't say it. Middle of the stream. I oh yeah, it it's uh, Leo underscore. Yeah, oh. I put the link. Oh, I put the link. Oh, okay, you have the sure, link yeah, in okay. the description. You can yeah, click of it. Of course. It was the whole time there, but uh, I was focused on like leading the converse- conversation and asking, so I forgot about promoting uh, his, his uh, Instagram as well. No problem. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Ten viewers left. Uh, thank you for reviewing till the end. Maybe we'll do that again and debate uh, different topics, maybe and different situations. I I would love to do that. I enjoyed the time with Leo. So, so yeah. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow us both on Instagram. He's Leo Kokol. I'm the Comado. Uh, and yeah, uh, r- write maybe write us on Instagram if you want to see more collabs or or anything basically, because we can do that. I think if of course Leo is down. Yep. Okay. Thanks again, chat. Take care. Uh, listen to Andrew Tate and uh, be positive.